これより福岡国際建築コンペティション二次審査を開始いたします。進行役を務めます新建築の仕方と申します。We now begin the、uh, 福岡 International Architectural Design Competition judging procedure. And for those of you who are finalists, please make sure your camera is on, but you are muted. 本日は福岡グローネクストにて二次審査会を行う予定ですが、Now, we have a plan to conduct this final judging in Glow Best in Fukuoka. Yet, because of the pandemic, we have decided to have this online session for the second and final screening process. And、um, uh, we have、um, uh, sufficient measures to、uh, prevent the infection、uh, on the ground. And this judging session is translated both in English and Japanese. And uh, please uh, choose uh, your uh, language as you are participating in the session. This is going to be a long session. Allow me to explain the guideline. This competition is sponsored by Fukuoka Jisho and Fukuoka Realty Company Limited and co sponsored by Shinken Chikusha Company Limited. And the theme is close to work and home. A new value to working and living, the future of Shinsai Momochi. And since July last year,、uh, we have、uh, an open call for the competition.、Uh, we have 107、uh, projects submitted. We have a two stage screening process, and the initial、uh, screening have selected six finalists. And all the six teams will make presentation today to be followed by a QA. And then、uh, the judges will、uh, discuss and would、uh, um, select、uh, one grand prize and two awards of excellence and three honorable mentions. Let me introduce、uh, the panel of judges for today. And、uh, please turn off your camera for the participants. Thank you. First, Chief Judge and OMA partner, Director of OMA New York,、uh, Shohei Shigematsu. Chief Judge. And also, Mr. Masata Kababa, a president of Open A Limited. And co founder of Loftwork, Ms. Chiaki Hayashi. Also, editor in chief of Wired Japan, Mr. Michiaki Matsushima. Lastly, As an organizer and also、um, a member of uh, the uh, panel of judges, we have、uh, Mr. Ichiro Enomoto, president and CEO of Fukuoka Jisho Company Limited, for an opening address. Well, thanks to your kind cooperation and、uh, support,、uh, we are able to、um, start uh, this uh, second and final screening session today. Now, the pandemic has uh, uh, been a big, big shock for the、um, urban、uh, planning and building for Fukuoka. And、uh, we had the、um, uh, online、um, uh, discussion session, and there was、uh, one mis uh, uh, statement um, um, that is、uh, well, because of the pandemic, there will no longer be a long commuting by train packed by people. But this was an、uh, uh, inappro inappropriate uh, uh, statement, actually, that was happening in the discussion. But one idea、uh, shared then was well, how、uh, we should continue to work in the future.、Uh, the urban center may be、uh, losing、uh, the attraction, and for developers, so there's、uh, Same activity is going on as if nothing happened, no pandemic has happened. Now we should uh, uh, re examine、uh, what is uh, the uh, uh, ideal situation of、uh, urban development.、Uh, there was a very critical comment uh, made um, at the time of、uh, discussion among the developers for the post pandemic world how we should be planning for and building. Uh, the urban area, we should、um, begin uh, with uh, a zero, that is、uh, from the very um, um, start, the basics. This is like a bottle of oil, everybody is on the starting line. We have Maru no Uchi Street, number one.、Uh, there, there was、um, a major development, and then maybe we are in, a, in the same、uh, situation. 
um, for instance, uh, the president of a very large um, a developer company and one student may be standing uh, on an equal footing as we all would begin the discussion for the ideal development um, uh, uh, in the post-pandemic world. That is uh, why we have um, asked uh, our panel of judges um, under Mr. Chief Judge Shinematsu um, uh, to um, come uh, and attend the session today after a long waiting uh, due to the pandemic. And thank you once um, again. And thank you, Mr. Enomoto, for an opening address. We now begin the presentation by uh, six uh, finalists. And uh, let me explain how to conduct the presentation. Uh, for each team, we have five minutes for presentation. And first bell will be given after four minutes, and then uh, two bells after five minutes. There will be Q and A, uh, questions from the uh, judges. And altogether, we have 30 minutes for Q and A. After the first 12 minutes, you hear the one bell. Now, let me introduce uh, the, the, the projects which have passed the initial uh, screening, entry number 68, the Bile Radio Use uh, 2.0, Yoko Yoshike, Kohei Ueda, and Koji Ikegami, and uh, Takanori Ishii, and uh, Namiko Tachi, and Yuki Misahoda are, are the members of the team. The second uh, project is entry number 110, titled Wakek City Mamochi. The members are Kagami Shigenaga, Katakanori Ichihara, Takuya Nakamoto, and Maro Yanase. The third team, entry number 122, Hatsu Village, renovation from building to site. Members are uh, Yugin Ezuki um, Tunch and Keisuke Kiri. And next, uh, entry number 128, uh, Momochi Play Park. And then team members are Sosuke Matsumoto, Shugo Nishijima, Riku Ogawa, Takashi Katsu, Yuko Tagashira, and Yohei Mika. The fifth team, entry number 176, the Island of Wave, Namishima. Members are Yao Yun Ho, Lin Chen, Chris Gu, and Selin Kao. Team number six, entry number one, uh, two, 16. The Wavering Flag of Mamochi. Members are Hikaru Motoki and Yoshimasa Noda. These are the finalists. The order of presentation is uh, the order of registration number. For the six teams, when you are not presenting, make sure your camera and um, microphone are off. After your presentations, there'll be a judging and the result will be announced. And then we hear the comments from the judges. Now we begin the first presentation. First presentation is from beyond conventional boundaries is proposed. We propose a lifestyle of living, working, and playing in the same place. Rather than a rigid approach, we took a very flexible and accessible approach. In Seaside Momochi, uh, we think that uh, this project will generate new value. Now we will like to start our presentation. In constructing distance between physical and digital. This is my vision of a town where I, as a Tokyo citizen, want to work and live if there is such an opportunity in Fukuoka. 
and propose a new lifestyle for today's society where SNS is part of our daily lives. This is Digital Momochi, a virtual town with avatars walking around. You can customize your ideal avatar as well as digital space. As you stroll through the town, you can find information you like. Oh, there's an avatar we've seen on the social media. You can take a walk together around the town, exchange information, or even you can invite your friends to your place. Now, let me show you the structure of this space. Shining city for 3 billion people. In addition to living space and traveling space, there is information space. Because of that, the number of users is dramatically expanded to 3 billion. This is an urban real estate model with the information space as the entrance. Preservation of the history of exchange. We will showcase Momochi as an international exchange city connecting natural resources and digital technology. Fusion of physical and digital. A new experience of moving between the physical space and the digital space will add value to the town. During the construction phase, the community is formed in the digital space and advertising revenue is used to cover the construction costs. After construction, space will be allocated to people with high digital ranking. Thus, digital physical overlap community is formed and the revenue of digital is used to cover the physical operating costs, taking advantage of both physical and digital life cycle management of the building is carried out. BIM-based service platform. We will build a digital twin that carry environmental and energy information to provide seamless services during the design, construction, and operating stages. Overlap of physical and digital. Living space or positive volumes is inserted in different parts of the building, accidentally leading to the formation of celebration space or negative volumes. Digitally popular users will be allocated a positive volume, which they can customize in real and distribute digitally by forming their own footprints or negative volume. Let's see what the Momochi will look like in one year. Construction will proceed based on what goes viral in the digital space on SNS. Positive volumes owned by individuals will be combined with very large negative volumes. Volumes of various sizes will create a vibrant and bustling urban area. This is an external space where nature and information interact with each other. Outside, online picnics and the bouldering world championships are being held in a mixture of real and digital. In a positive volumes, you can distribute the interior design of your choice and try on outfits online. The telework space feels like you are working alongside your colleagues in the office. The negative volume is empty, but it's a celebration space where all the information is gathered together. Hakata Dontaku is a special experience that combines physical sensation of dancing with non-scale images. With Momochi as a starting point, site-specific data platforms will proliferate. As these platforms allow cities and towns to be closely connected, a nation-independent new culture urban community will be formed. Momochi will trigger the formation of such a global and a discrete urban community, sharing the visions of architecture based on the Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, judges, if you have any questions, please let us know. This is exactly the kind of ideas. Hayashi san, Matsushima san, you are here. Matsushima san, what do you think? I think the, you, this is the only area where I can comment. Yes, floor is yours. 
you talked about the fusion between physical and digital. Clearly, this is something very important for the world going forward. In architecture's context, how you are proposing this idea was very something I was very much looking forward to. As a concept, there will be places and there is information space and all the people can join the digital space so you can accommodate as many as 3 billion people. And uh, I agree with you, this will be the key. And uh, if the 3 billion people come to Momochi, what is the unique characteristics of Momochi area and the building? For example, my office is in, located in Shibuya. There is a scramble uh, pedestrian crossing, which is very simple. It has uh, certain characteristics or unique culture there. Is there such a unique aspect of culture or uniqueness in the area of the building? How do you install that? At a glance, it looks like it is quite uh, bleached in a empty space. You put all the virtual context. I think uh, over the time, in the next uh, 10 or 20 years, you will build something. Even in the Shibuya uh, crossing, there is a, a virtual Shibuya uh, will, uh, to be constructed uh, as well. So as you generate this uh, virtual space, how do you create the context? And how do you uh, attract those uh, 3 billion people from different places to come to Momochi? What is the context of the uh, location itself, the area character? Thank you very much for the question. I would like to share the screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like to address your question. The location's uh, characteristics was something that we thought about very intensely. There is a Seinan Gakuin High School, and there is a beach near Momochi. And this area is uh, clearly attractive. I was a student there at the Seinai Gakuin High School. So I know how attractive the area is. When we think about the external space, I showed you the uh, bouldering championship and the YouTube distribution scene outside. Using iPhones and smartphones, you can see yourself uh, being projected in this digital space. So that kind of uh, amazing experience is something that you can enjoy. And the nearby, there are uh, seaside and mountains as well. So for those people who are interested in those places, yeah, they can live here and distribute their contest, content. So in terms of the uh, location and the natural uh, uh, beauty, uh, that is another characteristic. Matsushima-san, what do you think? <laughs> Thank you very much for answering my question. How about well, you talked about the bouldering. I think that's something that people can enjoy anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be here. So how can I say? I'm not saying that uh, there has to be a, a particular unique point, but uh, how do you attract 3 billion people? From now on, any city can claim that they can accommodate 3 billion. But uh, are you claiming that uh, this space is uh, bleached out and that uh, is not uh, uh, sticking to a certain culture? That's why it's easy to attract the people. So I wanted to see how you are attracting so many people uh, despite the uh, intense com competition we are going to see in the future among those virtual digital uh, spaces. <laughs> Hayashi-san, what do you think? Can you, can you hear us? Yes. Thank you very much for your idea. You are connecting digital and the real. I think that is the biggest uh, characteristic of this project. You talked about negative volume and positive volume. Uh, in a structure, you showed the relationships. I didn't really clearly understand this. Could you explain once again what the negative volumes are and the positive volumes are? Why are they negative and positive? Could you elaborate on this point? 
Yes, I would like to take up your answer, a question regarding positive volumes and negative volumes. It's not good and bad. What we were trying to express is physical and uh, uh, tangible and non tangible, intangible. So there are no specific shape here in this building because we wanted to integrate physical and non-physical and the positive is daily life and negative is digital space that's how we positioned those two spaces and these will be interacting and mingling with each other i see yeah, for example if a negative volume is a celebration area and the non-tangible, intangible space. And uh, you labeled this as negative. So are you saying that this does not mean being negative, something bad? Well, if you look at the SMS on your smartphones, accidentally, you see different timelines. It's not that uh, you are seeking any particular news. You are being passive. Is that you get the news and look at the news. Also, probably it's passive rather than negative. For example, this is positive volume. This is an office. There are purposes and uh, use cases here. But here, there are events, but those are not meant to be this way or that way. It is accidental. Uh, I understand. So it's uh, proactive and passive rather than positive and negative, I understand. Well, in that case, anyways, for the digital space, I can say the digital and architecture you wanted to treat those two on an equal footing. That's something you wanted to claim, I suppose. Because for those people who are living, everyone was thinking only about the architecture. But the idea is assigning and giving digital data address to the people who are living there. In my area as well, we don't think of digital space in that way, I think that is totally innovative and new, unprecedented. And it was very interesting. Thank you very much. May I? Yes. Even in other places, uh, the judge said that uh, they can create something similar. Yes, that's true. This should That should be the case. The idea of data platform is that there should be numerous digital spaces like that everywhere. And the Momochi should be one of them. And the Momochi should not be treated as something in Japan. It should be treated as something in the world. So positioning Momochi as a digital space can give us the opportunity to express more of the cultural aspects as well. That's why we have Yes, this is Monochi's unique uh, Dontaku festival themes. So the culture itself will become uh, data and uh, they are interacting with the architecture. And in New York, they will have their own version and the Fukuoka has its own version. That's how the uh, culture should be represented in the new era. Shigematsu, what do you think? Do you have any questions? Yes, thank you. This is beyond our um, imagination, and I'm very happy that you have this idea. To make something like this, um, like a prototype, we have to have a rationale of why in this location and why it has to be this way. I have a similar question as Matsushita sans. I still don't understand why this has to be in Momochi. And uh, why not making this structure newly? Maybe we can do a plug-in in different streets and towns. We can plug-in type features 
rather than having this whole new setting. And the uh, World Expo, if there is a World Expo or some installation, that would be okay. But if just for a town or a city having these all these functionalities, I don't still get it. But there are some ideas interesting, and uh, this project makes me think a lot uh, about uh, what is going to happen. But in terms of uh, uh, block type concept and uh, uh, blockchain and a different digital concept, I can't understand what is it that you are really want you really want to uh, realize here. So there is a lot of stuff um, put into this place. Thank you very much. It's true that we put a lot of things in this place, but. What we want to do is to realize interactive architecture. The shape is there in the infrastructure is there for the city, but uh, that's not enough. We want to focus on the creation of the town by the participation or interaction of the citizens. That's something we wanted to emphasize. And in Momochi, uh, there are many young people living there. So that we believe should allow, and also with the history of uh, a port town in its development as a place to disseminate information, Momochi should be uh, the uh, right place to do that. May I just one comment? If that's the case, from a real estate perspective, for example, on the second floor where vacancy persists, tend to persist, uh, we would do something interesting, maybe some concept or ideas, which is promoting this place as a real estate property. If you have ideas like that, that would be uh, convincing. So all of these uh, uh, scenes are brand new and uh, you make from the scratch. Probably we can modify the story a little bit and uh, then the impression will change. Baba-san, what do you think? Yes, uh, I have a, some kind of a tantalizing feeling. There are a lot of uh, hopes from this project, but I can't really uh, digest everything. Let me ask you this question. The physical property of the architecture, how, what kind of uh, uh, philosophy do you have? I ask this because uh, this looks like a game. This could be uh, happening only in the digital space. And uh, it, even that way, it is more uh, consistent. But uh, you wanted to do this in the physical space. I want to ask you why you had to do this in the physical space. So there will be a lot of parts to be combined with each other. If uh, you wanted to bleach out to this extent, why didn't you make this a totally digital space? For the last one year, uh, under COVID-19 pandemic, we have had different uh, experiences. Because of COVID, uh, we had to rely on telework. But despite that, when we go back to office, we still have the physical contact and physical experience with other people. And uh, through the last year, I think this is something everyone felt. So the totally digital world, even if in a game, is not uh, so positive, so good. And the Fukuoka, the location has its own local culture and uh, based on the physical setup. And uh, because of the attractiveness of the place of Fukuoka as the physical place, and then it, it makes sense to create such a digital world, this bordering a world championship, if it's done in digital, it's not impactful enough. But there are some real experience the users are looking for. So that's something that we feel strongly about, uh, about having the physical uh, space as well. Well, time's uh, up. Uh, so we would like to move on to the next presentation. Thank you. Now, please turn off your camera as you are done. Now moving on to the second uh, um, team, entry number 110. Please begin your presentation. Thank you very much. Please uh, allow us to share the slides, the screen. 
。あ、間違いなくね。これね、共有の時に。あ、すみません、少々お待ちください。はい。Please give us that time. Thank you. はいえっと、画面見えてますでしょうか ?I can see the screen.Yes, we can. Please start.Thank you very much for the opportunity to present our project.And let me b e g i n w a k i k i t y Momoji is a title.Iji Hara is a spokesman for the team.Remote work の普及により、生活の延長 Remote work enables us working as an extension to living. Or just about anywhere. Working close to home is a way of life which fits well with the time. We propose a life of working close to home which involves an entire complex while making most of the potential of seaside momochi. Now, ever since uh, uh, the uh, disc drift was uh, first developed uh, 30 years ago, in terms of urban design, The community planning policy has not been changed. The voice of resident is not very well reflected in、um, the community building. Also,、uh, the district has accessibility issues due to layout of functions or distance from the subway stations. These issues must be resolved while existing stock is given added values. To do this, we first worked out an urban design for the entire district. The existing townscape features greenery, beaches, In large public space, which are attractive space for workplace. We'll keep them and put them in different places across the district. Our plan includes two types of uh, uh, workplaces M room utilizing underused rooms, while M shell utilizes external environment. We'll build a system for connecting these spaces with electric cables. Using the system, the public private collaboration will make the seaside the Momochi more attractive for greater population of users. Use of apps which centralize, centralize services in the district will facilitate support for relationship among workers, apps to help collect voice of residents. This was a challenge traditionally. A set of big data collected by these apps will be used for community development. The urban design manual will keep updated and stay relevant. Next, the building design. This is a, a building which allows、um, you to work along the extension of your living called M Living. We are planning to put some multi family housing kickboard operators and a large living room in the center where various activities will、uh, be generated. First, the living room design. First, we place three pieces of volume in the plot in order to draw rows into the complex and then put a large living room which will accommodate kickboards to freely move around. There will be no walls. Ups and downs on the floor will create different types of space. The three atrium is placed to allow for moving from different volumes into M living. Ups and downs will create a variety of accessibility. This is、uh, a plan. Each residential unit is connected seamlessly with the hotel using a living room and slopes. Thus, the place for work coexists with the place for living. The residential unit has an earth floor to accommodate、uh, an access on the kickboard. A large opening may be closed, closed for privacy and can be expanded for. Business briefing or neighborhood relationship and other public functions. Lastly, the lifestyle or some specific ways of working close to home at Seaside Momochi.、Uh, let's take、uh, a look into、uh, the life of、uh, Shinji, who lives in、uh, M Living, and、uh, Keiko, who lives、uh, in the residential quarters of district, and、uh, um, another person who is visiting the place. Uh, at nine o'clock,、uh, um, uh, Keiko looks like moving to M Living, and、uh, Shinji is making work materials. At one o'clock,、uh, Shinji will work intensively in M Living, and um, um, also uh, uh, the person is、uh, moving to M Living. While the other person has、uh, been relaxed at M Shell, 
at Seaside Park. Keiko さんは子供を見守りながら、Keiko is watching over the children and reading books. At six o'clock, three of them gathered together at M Living. Maybe starting a dinner party. Electric kickboard connects community and、uh, people and enables a free way of working and living in this new community where you live close to home. And this is our proposal. Wakik City Momochi. Thanks for our presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions from the panel? Judges, <laughs> Hayashi san? I saw uh, 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 our eyes actually met. This kind of idea is something that I like very much because well, there are changes in society and people are finding living less and less with other people. And now, with this transformation, we are living alone. But living alone, or living with just one family alone, when this is taking place. At the same, same time, we hear the news of the people living or dying alone with nobody around. What's attracting attention these days is on the first floor, perhaps we should put a laundry, doing a laundry. Would be just a, um, a household chore、uh, in, in a private house. But if this is done with everybody else, it will be a pleasure. So when we live、uh, um, alone, we are feeling、uh, earning or living、uh, with or getting together with other、uh, people. So in this sense, I had a lot of expectation of your idea, this idea in this project. So with this,、um, My question is as follows.、Oh, well, also, for Momochi,、uh, you are talking about the, the use of kickboard effectively. And、uh, well, this is,、uh, this sounds like a good connection, and this idea is realizable. But I have two things. First, M Living. It's a、uh, very spacious space, according to your design. We have such a space. Do we, or is it possible for us to accept、uh, sharing this large space with other people? If so, what is the trick in terms of private versus private space? What is、uh, your design in terms of private versus uh, uh, public in this kind of a space? What would you say? Answer? May I share、uh, the slide as well? Thank you. For M Living, your comment is it's a very spacious place. Yes. We dared to keep such a, a big space for sharing. And as is explained on this chart, well, there are different ways of、uh, adding kickoff. We have generated、um, a new type of space. Sometimes we have a closed space and other types of space.、So、we do have a variety of different space. And、uh, well, people can choose、um, which space to go, and、uh, people with similar、uh, likings may. Uh, end up、uh, in the same or similar space, and they will be able to、um, communicate or, or interact there. So it's a big、um, uh, site, but there are ups and downs. 
He said that by bicycle we thought it would be more interesting if we bring in uh, the um, kickboards on this idea in the process of uh, developing uh, this project. Enomoto, any question on this idea? Yes. The Momochi, uh, well, this is a proposal for uh, working close to home. It's a very good idea and for the residents. Well, they are really uh, nobody, uh, not, not related, or um, Shige Matsu-san has a design for the Facebook campus. So like, uh, well, this is a place where Facebook employees live. So there are two different uh, types of um, residential complex. If everybody is not related, uh, nobody, you have a uh, community, and it likes a good place for co-working. Uh, it is a race if it is not happening. Or if uh, all the employees of Google uh, are the residents, uh, and, and then well, you work together and also you live together with a group of um, um, uh, people, all employees of uh, one company. What would you say? First of all, this large living room, well, this is open to people, non residents. And especially for the residents, uh, the idea is to use um, uh, rent, rental housing, and uh, after 10 years, for instance, uh, they will move. So we can be connected using apps. So the residents will know um, what other residents do, um, not exactly, but mostly. And it is possible that um, uh, people of the same uh, occupation may come and live, but as this is a, a periodical renting system, people may leave, move out. We are not an anticipating that people will be uh, living very long. And instead of uh, having the people of the same company, of the same trade living in this complex, uh, we expect people staying here for 10 years and then moving out after acquiring a lot of um, uh, resources or, or expertise. Seeing uh, Well, this is a similar question. Is an Omoto san question. This uh, idea looks like an IT campus, uh, good or bad, uh, has a, a very pleasant feeling. People share their values and people live and move uh, in a pleasant manner. I can see that. And for the IT campus, uh, it is good, but uh, for uh, the uh, urban residential quarters, uh, it is really an ideal like, thing. You may have some earning for such uh, IT camp type uh, uh, place. Um, but also, uh, this is an interesting um, idea, but the use of kickboard. Now in the United States, uh, kickboards are used. Uh, and uh, compared uh, with uh, a bicycle, uh, they are um, used, handled in a rather uh, anarchic uh, level. Be be people will just leave the kickboard um, after use on the street. And I see some inconsistency, anarchic. Uh, and uh, f free feeling is one. And also an IT campus type uh, place. These are uh, uh, two different things. As you are students uh, who will be working on real urban planning, please uh, uh, think about these uh, differences. Matsushima-san, any question? In this respect, uh, in this type of uh, competition, I don't know uh, how true that it could be. Get momochi, uh, greenery, and canals, and other features. So, uh, maybe it is not really a destination type uh, a place for a visitor, but if you also work here, it could be an attractive uh, place. 
なんかそういう意味ではそのももちっていう場所になんか開かれた仕組みなのかなと思ってそこはシステムでアイディア、メイビーオープンとワットももちイースイナリアリスティックスタンス。Spent、um, um, half an hour, but it, it is also good. Th that makes、uh, this idea attractive. As Enomoto san said, why people gather together? Why? Well, because uh, of a、uh, tax uh, 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 credit、uh, that you can enjoy, if you could also uh, add uh, uh, incentives.、Um, As to why people、uh, come here and stay here. Can we really build a community like this for people just working and living in a place like this? I, I have just one point to make about the, the IT campus.、Um, certainly, we shouldn't depend upon the big data in urban planning and design. But if you go to the residential area and conduct some studies, but there are many residents、uh, who are、um, not, not uh, quite uh, responsive um, uh, to our questions. But if we can offer some ups, they are more willingly、uh, share the views. And, Maybe there should be a way of collecting the, the thinking and views of the residents, existing residents, for the、um, community planning or the design. That was one thing we had understood. So, technology or apps. Focus too much. The community. Has lots of、uh, in between spaces where bugs could be easily accommodated. That、uh, is、uh, one important element for an architect. And、uh, also, you need a data security to reject bugs. And these are、uh, where we can find some unique identity in different places. Um, you have time for、uh, just speaking out, or would you like to respond? <laughs> About,、um, I think we spend too much time on apps.、Mm. And we really didn't come far enough to allow for some elbow room,、uh, making it less tight. But this,、uh, these images、uh, described by your perspectives are very attractive <laughs> ideas. Hi. So we liked your ideas. Any other questions? Thank you very much. So with this, we end、uh, the presentation for team number two. Our third group is、uh, entry number 122. Please start your presentation. Thank you very much. This is Kiri. When you hear the words attractive town, what scenery comes to your mind? Our proposal is not creating a town from the scratch, but converting the residential street of Fukuoka and its structure and infrastructure into a new town. Towns become attractive with diversity and complexity through accumulation of time and plan. Creating a town is not copying the spatial compositions and elements of some existing town, but is designing the mechanism for accumulating time and plan. Only through the process of meticulous planning, we will be able to envision a new way of working and living. In this section, I would like to explain what kind of lifestyle will be created. There are three components. The first is the specific method of accumulating planning, spoken earlier. 
First, the interior and exterior of the existing building will be removed and the, the atrium will be created. The upper level will be wrapped in a vegetable garden and the lower level will be filled with landscape. The building is completely externalized and we will place hot small places, small spaces inside. The slab of the existing building called the floor becomes a street where people walk around and interact with each other. And the building is transformed into a community. This is a proposal for site renovation using the existing site, including the building buildings. The existing core will be reborn as a vertical city infrastructure while retaining the functional flow uh, a new staircase will be installed to create a three-dimensional urban flow. The distance between work and living has become much closer. However, the real value of this is not being able to work at home without traveling, but uh, being able to live uh, while traveling freely by switching between work and living whenever we want. Here, small houses are placed in random manner, like three pieces of furniture for working, eating, and sleeping. These are compact yet high quality huts. You can freely travel across them. It's a proposal that maximizes the experience of living instead of the size of the space. Work is not only labor. Making friends in public bath, learning some new thing on, on, in the online courses are part of our work or life. By distributing your living space, private space, into multiple places, like using them as garden, terrace, or enjoying farming, gardening, and the dining, external space will become more valuable. By keeping private space to the minimum, it's easy to move it around and keep it optimized at full time. Response to harsh climate, social economic changes, as well as disasters can be optimized with the use of the advanced analytics of the frequency, duration, and the flow of user action information. You can travel using drones. The most advanced drones can carry up to two tons of weight. They are getting smaller and more powerful than ever in the future. And on the one hand, hut is less than one ton, much lighter than CLT structures, despite having the retard higher retardant and heat installation capabilities. It is feasible with the existing technology. HUT should become more powerful in the future. The floor area ratio to 150%, including the covered semi outdoor space. Initial costs are, have been kept low by effective use of existing space. The value of the semi outdoor space is increasing. People value experiences more than material wealth, which helps the project to stay profitable. We envision three types of users, residential users, long-term stayers, and short-term stayers. Uh, we are targeting those users who are interested in work-life balance and the fulfilling lifestyle. The formation of a unique community in the area will strengthen the connection between work and living. The community of people will think about how to work and live together through workshops. The town will be constantly up to, uh, updated and refreshed. A new culture of living and working should develop at the same time as the growth of the greener. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, can you hear me? Hear us? Okay. Sorry for that. Now, from the judges, are there any questions? May I start? Yes. As a business enterprise, how do you make it feasible? That was my interest. For you made the existing building into skeleton and they put the greenery and the plants and so forth. It was interesting. This is uh, my vision of the future. But I always think uh, whenever you make a new investment, are you going to let them out as a rental houses or sell the units? Because the uh, floor area is uh, very small. Does it make sense uh, business-wise or commercially? Within the presentation, we explained because of the renovation, the initial cost is uh, reduced compared with the new building. And also the semi-outside space 
is uh, redefined and revalued. And this time, there are different private spaces all around the building. And by doing so, we can generate more effective outdoor spaces. And also, the time value is not only with the property or size of the property. People are willing to pay for experiences today. From that perspective, the area size may have been reduced inside of the building, but more than that, we are generating more value. So we hope that the profit wise, that way we are generating more value. Is it for sale or a rental? For the living sp space, as you can see for the residence area, uh, there are three types, short stay and a long stay, more than one year, 12 months, and the visitors. And we can flexibly change the ratio between those three. So the idea is that this is uh, fixed in the, not fixed in the stone. It is a beta version and a service oriented enterprise. Therefore, according to the times and the people's preferences, we can constantly change the mix of the business so that we can eliminate the rates all the time, depending on the demands of the people. Was it okay? Yes. <laughs> Any other questions? Shigemasa, what do you think? The model has been constructed. It looks beautiful. And they're utilizing an existing building to convert this to something like this is quite uh, interesting. However, the density is so low and everyone can freely choose the address. So in terms of the anthropology and the human being perspective, how does it work is something I want to understand more. I think every one of them would like to have a space on the window side. And there were some boxes uh, sticking out. I think everyone would go for that space. So when you actually start the operation, uh, various uh, psychology of people will play out. Is this going to play out OK? Uh, does that work in such a harmonious way? But the construction without the uh, base or foundation, I think that is new and interesting. It is because it doesn't have to be this existing building as a platform. But in the future, if we look back in the past, we would wonder why we spend so much money on the foundation of the buildings and the fixed structures. So that's why I would tend to agree with this kind of concept and approach. What do you think? Yes, everyone would go for the window side. If it's less popular, it would be less expensive. And uh, by the economic principle, we can figure it out. In these huts, the value of the uh, each hut and the real uh, the value of the property will uh, correlate. So that's how we believe that uh, the balance will play out. Okay, thank you, Matsushima-san. What do you think? I also like this proposal a lot because you are trying to utilize the existing building and you said that you are converting a building into a town. But my image is a building into nature. It's like the hill or a mountain or something and you are building a hut based on top of this ground and which will be also covered with green greenery. I think that is a popular concept these days. But what does it mean when the civilization simply recycling by recycling and reusing this building, is that it? Or is it much more than that? Is it more regenerative thing, theme? 
by converting it back to nature, I, are we trying to utilize the uh, natural heating power of the nature? When you said uh, uh, this is converted back to town, I think this is also as well part of nature made by people. So I see a regenerative theme in here. So if there is such a, a ecological theme uh, put into this, I think that this project will be more attractive. Could, do, could you expand the uh, model a little bit more? Okay. And what Sam do you think? There are two steps to this project. The first step is the huts, the units. You came up with this idea. And the second step is uh, to look at the existing building and uh, only keeping the skeleton and uh, putting those huts into different parts of the building. So the first step, huts, if they are really feasible and uh, mass producible in plants, and uh, if you can combine different huts and make your favorite uh, places, maybe you can use these huts in everywhere else, not here, only here. So what is your idea about the feasibility, commercialization capability of huts? Have you seen any idea like this somewhere else? Kiri-san, what do you think? Thank you very much for showing us the model. Um, actually, we have, uh, we have two sides for, for the, uh, this project. One is like a work and life, how it will be in the future, and uh, that COVID is treating us, how, how nowadays we deal working in, the, in our houses. But the other side, as you meant, that ecology, it's important that we treat this project uh, as a process. So if we want a really breathable earth or like a livable space, it's not just our microclimate, but in, ma in ma macro uh, level, we think that it should have ecological aspect and ecological approach. That's why we uh, keep uh, the existing structure, and I think Fukuoka uh, can be pro uh, promenade the, the, the starting with this uh, renovation system. And these hubs can be uh, changeable and then update and upload. Okay. <laughs> By making those uh, huts small, it is portable. This may sound fictional, but in the near future, or even today, it's technically feasible. And uh, uh, how does it bring about the exciting life for users? If you open up a uh, application and if in the summertime the sunlight is too much and there you can adjust the angle of the small hut so that you can avoid the direct sun sunlight so the next uh, morning you wake up you can make sure that the sunlight does not get into the house too much and also depending on the season or preference of each person like uh, the direction of the wind and uh, uh, the amount of sunlight coming into the house, depending on the user, you can customize uh, those aspects freely. By making the unit smaller, that becomes possible. If that's the case, does it have to be in this shape? Maybe it, it, it can be just a car on a wheel so that you can travel and move around every day. In terms of the shape, as I said earlier, it will keep updated. The functionalities of this hut has the uh, heat insulation and the uh, lightweight so depending on the era, there will be different models to be introduced. So it, it is a product type of concept. So in terms of the product approach, I think uh, this is close to that. And also, uh, 
in terms of the space and scenery. One of the options to realize the ideal sceneries and so forth. And then in this environment, we thought that this shape will fit into the environment the best way. That's why at this point in time, this is a shape we chose. Hayasan, what do you think? We are running out of time, right? So in terms of proximity between work and life, it's not the proximity. It is the flexibility. And you said uh, for the life and the work, that's something we can keep it in mind. But uh, this is only for serving a single purpose at any given time. I hope that this would serve different purposes concurrently. For example, in the morning, this is a eating place by the uh, daytime. It can be used as an office, but in the night, it can be something else. So for, for those multiple purposes put to, to be realized in one place, I think that will be the key for the future. But now uh, this is serving only for a single purpose and you have to have a lot of uh, units. For so this idea itself, uh, in the digital world, in the real, because there is an expansion of the digital world, we need somewhere that we can feel comfortable in the real world. And in that sense, in the space, in, for the comfort and the flexibility, I think the people's preference for space is not the um, sanitized space, but certain space designated for some specific purpose. For example, for eating, uh, uh, people can get together there to be feeling comfortable eating together and for working. Uh, so for each different uh, uh, space or uh, uh, purpose, we th I think that we need a distinct space for that purpose. So there's no flexibility in terms of the uh, multiple uh, purposes, but uh, because the, each space is so small, you can easily combine with one with one another and create uh, uh, different uh, com combinations. If that's the case, the space between huts will be the key because we mainly asked questions about the huts themselves. But uh, if that's the case, we should think about the spaces between the huts. Yes, exactly. Well, we have uh, run out of the time, so we would like to uh, close this session. I'm moving on to the number four entry, number 128. Please start. Thank you. Allow me to share the screen. はい、見えます。見えますでしょうか。uh, on the Momochihama Beach in Fukuoka Prefecture, this is a community uh, and a new uh, play park or Asoliba. And this uh, is um, um, the place to play uh, for everybody uh, with lots of tricks for creating dreams. And main players are startup companies and uh, children, startups. Uh, we use this place as a place for living and uh, also office for uh, working under the support of the uh, local government and, and uh, corporations. And the children will uh, freely uh, play and learn inside the play park. It seems startups are teaching children how to do the programming. Startup would uh, uh, propose content as entertainer. Children uh, will uh, play and grow uh, with content and they can develop their own respective dreams. 
a play park could be a lodging facility and for tourists who will feel the lively streets also for residents it's a cafe and a park and this is a place to realize everybody's a dream startups and children and others and this building are shaped in a way that a gradual slope as if it is funding uh, the um, Momochi um, community and startup uh, uh, will live here and work here in these boxes on the slope. And uh, around the, the box, uh, there's a space uh, uh, to play, adding values for living and also working. And school floors are all connected for free circulation inside. <laughs> And uh, also, uh, design staff will exhibit their works uh, to attract the people on the street. And around the living uh, box, uh, you can feel the lively uh, food and giving uh, or adding color to the street. And the living box and working box and uh, Asobiba workplace uh, all expand uh, into a Momochi uh, play uh, park. Uh, here is a day in the life of uh, um, play park. Um, this is in the morning, and you have a walk. Uh, instead of commuting to the workplace, you can come up with new ideas. Children are now working on something with parents looking into or looking over uh, and during the daytime. Workers are uh, farming. Also, in the workshop is hosted by the architecture office. Now at night, we work um, here in Momochi. Residents and tourists are gathered together to relax at the end of the day. Now, grumping under the stars, um, there is another eventful day, and many things happen one after another at Momochi. These are the lifestyles which were not likely in traditional. Uh, separation of life and uh, uh, home, uh, I mean, work and uh, home. Because uh, the, uh, the uh, play park is close to uh, the workplace, many things spontaneously happen inside the Momochi. This is at Momochi. Activities taking place in play park are not limited inside the buildings. They uh, flow out into uh, outdoors, into streets. And now the seeds for creating dreams will be spread across the town. And here is um, the architectural office uh, giving a, a lecture while cycling on the architecture suite. And people who love uh, uh, plants uh, will host uh, a workshop for green, greening the community. And also the works uh, created by children uh, will be exhibited along with existing artwork uh, in an event. Momochi uh, is a community creating dreams and full of life. In a small office, um, the startup started uh, the, the business and now has grown uh, to much uh, larger uh, business, uh, active in Hakata or Tenjin, in bigger cities, uh, or they will go out into the world. The children uh, will find uh, their dream and keep them as they grow. Uh, even after leaving uh, Momochi, Play Park uh, uh, will be their home and will be passed on to the future. Thank you. Now, questions from the judges. Emoto, any questions? You are making use of uh, slopes. And uh, you are evaluating the, the, the volume, so gradually you are moving up. Uh, so you have built a, a, a plane, which should be a unique idea. If that is the case, at the end of the day, is it like a, a, a lot of uh, uh, low lying houses lying um, in a row, or, or you have layers of the slopes? Uh, in a vertical structure, rather than uh, spreading horizontally, uh, do you have any benefit of the growing vertically using the slope structure in your project? In a between slopes or between boxes, the activity is taking place. 
こう積層された床が、えー、ただ、やはりその間でできること、でそれがさらに、ただ、そういうことを考えることができます。With this layered slope. Hi. じゃあ、林さん、どうですか<笑>林さん、インクエスチョン。これは、ちょっとご覧になってたかわからないんですけど、一つ前 have missed, but,、uh, ともちょっと似ている。Oh, this idea is similar、uh, a little bit to the hut that project shown earlier on. In, with huts,、uh, they are talking about the same、uh, space. And then they're trying to put the space for living and also working. So there are some, some similarities. But、uh, then the result, as Mr. Baba said,、uh, there will be a very low、um, uh, usage of、um, the plot in terms of the height of the building. And also, slope is not a flat.、Uh, Uh, space, it is、uh, um, at an angle. What you can do on such a space? In your illustrations,、uh, they look、uh, um, attractive.、Uh, the startups and children can do things, but realistically, is it yeah, feasible that you can build such a structure?、Mm-hmm. Now, we、um, We think、uh, the traditional idea、uh, is no longer、uh, working. Therefore, in order to、uh, improve the, the value of the entire、um, the community,、uh, we thought we should involve、uh, the startups and children、uh, who would eventually raise the value of、uh, the entire complex. How about the,、um, the slope being, being at, at an angle instead of being flat? Slope is a slope. Slope is a structure at an angle. It's a slope at an angle. But、uh, the floors are all connected. We didn't want to separate working space、uh, from the living space. And the work space and the living space、um, are、uh, connected.、Uh, well, you will find yourself、uh, moving to a higher. Level. No, that is not the question. Well, structurally, uh, the slope uh, uh, is uh, uh, at an angle. Can you do what sort of things、uh, in such uh, uh, space? And also, according to this illustration, there are really low lying structures. The actual、um, grading is one over 15th. If you walk as it is so gradual、uh, a slope, you may not feel you're walking along the slope.、Um, with a, a, a plain、um, layout, you can really look over the sea or things、um, from、uh, the high、uh, location. So,、uh, by using a structure like this, you, we can raise the eye level of the observer. Hi, it's a very question. Management to the unway or don't know your inner side of the management or administration of this part. Name is a play park. It's a creative place, it's a theme park or, or the amusement park. This is a presentation.、Um, I'm asking this question in a positive、uh, manner. But there are certain things that、um, uh, you cannot、uh, explain. And I think it is、uh, possible that there could be、um, a huge confusion if it is not、uh, communicating well. So, the Moji Play Park. 
uh, we do have a structure for running uh, this park and involving the startup and also all um, external support for the activities or operation. And with, uh, with these players, it, it will be possible, but there are a lot of living space and also other space. You, you also have a living space? Yes. And a place to work and a place to live. And there are some differences. And there is a balcony um, over which you can go inside the living space, for instance. We have the presentation mode slide. And I slide number three. Let me explain how this uh, facility is to be operated. Omochi Play Park uh, should be supported by an organization. Um, and this is a main uh, operator. And also a startup are involved. And I don't think uh, uh, the startup companies will fill the entire available space. Uh, what is left could be rent to the hotel or hotels for uh, income, which may be used uh, again to support the startups. Continue to generate new ideas. And there may be our pop-up pop stores um, for the tenants. And uh, we are convinced that um, this idea would attract a lot of uh, tenants. So you are building um, a new uh, plot uh, um, with uh, the unload floor space for the subdivision for sale. So we have uh, um, playing space uh, which should be on the street side. <clears throat> For instance, uh, the, the um, architect uh, has an office uh, which uh, may have a street facing side uh, which should be um, shown for the people on the street and that is uh, attractiveness for the play park. So it could be uh, our backyard or the garden. Shigemasa, any question? It was a very effective presentation and I can really uh, have an image of what, what uh, you're talking about. There's some um, connectivity and there are some boys. You are trying to put lots of things uh, in one project. So for this residential portion, they are not quite uh, feasible. Do people feel wanting to live here? Uh, the deposit structure um, is a marketplace and then gradually you see startups and then there will be another shift to different functions. If it is a slope, uh, you don't have to have uh, same functions distributed along. You can, could uh, uh, come with idea uh, for X on the ground floor and then uh, different things uh, on the next floor. Uh, there is a con continuum. And I take or Mito Bay. Well, there are actual architectural um, structures which have featured a similar um, concept. And I'm sure you do know those existing uh, structures of the projects as an architect. So this is uh, an idea like combining two different architects idea into one. As you have been a student of uh, architecture, you should have been more careful. But overall, 
とかマーケットとかなんかそういう面白いプログラムを。ありがとうございます。松島さんどういった意図で集まってくるのかなと。The startups、uh, would gather together、uh, here、uh, with what kind of intention?、Uh, when these people uh, uh, would come together, something could happen? That was my impression that is,、uh, you feature startups, but why they play with the children in, in, in the play park? くんですっていうもの以上の,あの何かそこにきっかけがあると割とちょっとこう理,理想でじゃあスタートアップはこうやって。ちょっと質問を聞いてみてください。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。仕組みなんだろうっていうのをちょっと。What is the to make things happen with such people? っていうのがもうちょっとロジックが欲しかったっていう。You sort of jumped、uh, this part、uh, in your explanation. If you have、uh, the final comment, please. The Momochi should be a place where young couples would、uh, um, uh, live with、uh, young kids. And then、uh, startups come, connected with them. That was、uh, the idea. That is why we featured startups. Goka、um, is very eager,、uh, very effective in、um, gathering、uh, and also helping startups. I have a question to Enomoto san and、uh, Hayashi san. Startups, do they convey such a positive image? Uh, well, they are like uh, uh, challenging agents. <laughs> well, there are different types of startups. And there are non startups、uh, established businesses. They could uh, be uh, here、uh, instead of startups. Why are you bringing startups to play with kids? So I do.、Uh, um, Work for the incubation、um, facilities. Startups are、uh, very hungry people. They must survive for tomorrow. And they would uh, uh, surround the big uh,、um, businesses uh, with、uh, a tie on the suit so they can survive. So for, for them,、uh, educating. Kids should be、uh, just a burden. Why are they willing to commit to such a burden? The potential for this site, as uh, this uh, scale model shows, on the northeastern side of the site, there are office quarters. And the collaboration with such a big、uh, business.、Uh, Um, partners on the site was also an idea. Thank you. What time has come?、Uh, please give them the applause. This is the end of this project. Group 176,、uh, the uh, 176、uh, members, please、uh, start your presentation. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, Hi. we can hear you. Please start. Okay, thank you. So let's begin. Dear judges, we are the Jumu Architecture. Our project name is Island of Ways. We will introduce some key points here. Number one, modeling. Fukuoka is an international and coastal city. When we visit the architecture firm, we extracted that the wave. 
which is rich in recognition, landmark, and regional. About, which, uh, about recognition, because of the famous Japanese painter, Mr. Katsuka Okosai, he let the whole world know what is the Japan waste. So we think the waste will be the to totem of Japanese culture. About the landmark, the waste modeling, the waste modeling will make this project become eye-catching. We can see it standing in the city from a long distance, just like that. So we can see the we can see the landmark here, and whatever in the in the ocean or in the high-speed trains, much more better commercial and innovation teams will be attracted to the project because of the landmark. About which you know, because of the Momochi area. Uh, because of the Momochi area, it's positioned as a seaside city facing the high tech and green future. And we're sure about that the waste modeling will confirm the urban planning con concept. Number two, the proposition. Fukuoka city enjoys coastal environment with connection to sea and green, to nature and to the themes of sustainability. And can the contemporary lifestyle is green and livable city. The project will make Fukuoka city much more speed to innovation. Technology is media mixed with an uh, urban plans, more, more, more future city feel. It has very human scale, a great way people can feel comfortable walking, meeting and enjoy themselves in the context of public life in the project. We decide the project that make much more emphasis of place making on identity with living places and working places looking different themselves from others. We design many different scale of the green green roof, uh, public space here, public space, and uh, squares, and uh, and the resting platform on the project. These are not only to increase screening index, but to make the project as an important road in the green future. We think the concept that fix the thing of our competition, it make a better way that let the living space and the working space mix with the nature system. Number three, business opportunity. The commercial orientation of the project is to attract investment, high-end commercial, and innovation teams in order to make Fukuoka famous internationally, create the best city car. The project can not only address commercial opportunities, which are the Fukuoka Tower and the Fukuoka Dam cannot afford, but also further attract better business because of the grandly commercial pretend street, street and the sea wheel commercial exhibition space. Number four. Not only museum, library, school, core urban, urban culture, but also the public life due to the diversity of public space, we can introduce different events into space. For example, local traditional events, uh, events and international press competition, uh, uh, sorry, uh, local traditional events and international press conference, they can enjoy a presidential experience, such as a large green course and large display space with sea view. This can not only highlight the importance of culture, urban culture in our project, but also make the space also maintain vitality of and use value, a deep sense of community, gather to enjoy the fun of being with others. This kind of human conservation is really important, not only for designing the commercial system, the ecosystem, living system, but also for creating great places where people can in interacting, working, creating entertainment, games, and construction. This is a real sense for place, a sense where people want to live and work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
No, the floor is open for questions. Uh, the judges can ask questions either in English or Japanese. Chicken, please. Well, I will uh, speak in Japanese in terms of the uh, materials, in terms of the uh, structures and uh, the past. It's very powerful and interesting. Overall, there is a very high level of energy I can feel. Um, I think this is typical of the overseas office. I think uh, overseas offices are more powerful and energetic than Japanese architecture offices. So you analyzed Momochi. Did you find Momochi, uh, to be honest, to be a sort of a boring town? Was that, how did you feel about Momochi when you analyzed Fukuoka Dome and Fukuoka Tower balance? What did you think about the uh, balance between Fukuoka Dome and Fukuoka Tower? I liked your first part of presentation when you analyzed the Momochi as a city or town. So did you find Momochi as a boring place? That's why you proposed such an interesting idea. To be honest, what did you think? Uh, I, 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 I say I that. Um, at the first image uh, of the Momochi seaside for me, uh, I think that it, because I, I, I saw the I, I saw the research, the Momochi seaside have a future planning, the future planning. That is the uh, that is for the high tech and the green future for this uh, for this area. But uh, at the Mac, because I, I never I, I never go there that, uh, before. Uh, I think that the the city the modeling or whatever modeling or the planning will so uh, we are big little uh, we are big boring um, because I just I, I just saw the tower and the dam will 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 be at a landmark will will be at a landmark but uh, no any no any others but uh, we researched one of the street called the architectural, uh, architecture street but it's too small for for uh for a city yes okay thank you mm. Mm. thank you well, this is something that we can discuss later but uh, since this is is boring today that's why we need something more exciting that itself is okay then what would be the ideal landmark going forward would it be something like a dubai or uh, china with some flashy architectures would that be accepted or would that be something more uh, intangible uh, or the mixture of uh, tangible uh, architecture and intangible uh, ideas, such as community-based programs. That was something I wanted to discuss later. Okay, next question, please. Anything else? Baba-san, what do you think? This is not a question. This is my impression. Japanese ideas are modest and uh, moderate. Uh, many of them are very uh, down to art, modest. But uh, your idea is a lot, a lot different. You talked about uh, inviting international businesses and uh, making a landmark. And so I was impressed with those uh, uh, impressive and powerful uh, ideas. I think this is representative of the energy coming from China and compared with the uh, dull atmosphere in Japan. So I also want to, there is a lot to digest from this idea. So I want to discuss this more. So I think that uh, uh, there is a lot of energy I can feel for growth. I see, thank you. Hayashi-san, what do you think? Yes, I agree with the two judges. 
This is, reminds me of China and Dubai and how buildings are constructed in those countries. I can't deny that. Or from a global perspective, Japan may look like something like we have waves and, uh, and uh, if we emphasize the waves, it is logical in a sense, but as a Japanese person, I don't think that is not enough. In terms of the structures, constructions, isn't there any technical difficulties? So only with the two points, you are supporting the all the uh, weight and the load. It is difficult, but it's not impossible. However, in Japan, there are earthquakes. So in terms of architecture, it costs a lot of money to realize this, but it's not impossible. Yes, I wanted to ask about it too, but whether we can support this. I think OMA is the company who is doing a lot of uh, uh, these structures. Uh, uh, there are uh, braces, new types of braces uh, he incorporated. So I think he's aware of that problem. It is technically difficult. However, that's why the building looks so dramatic. The height of this building. Can we go as far as the, this distance, the height? It looks like the uh, view from the top overlooking the city is quite good. So the height of the building is quite important. Yeah, with this height, I think you can command a very good view. I see. Enomoto-san, what do you think? If you are to realize this, the space between the floors, maybe we have to shrink, contract the space, or uh, above each floor, maybe we have to do something. Or we, with the minimized floor, maybe we can only invite very, very profitable businesses like casino. With casino, maybe it's possible as a development project in order to make it commercially uh, feasible. Which way would you like to go? Do you want to limit the floor space and invite in, uh, profitable businesses or maximize the floor? So in, in order to make it commercially viable, possible, feasible. Which way do you want to go? Uh, sorry, if the question is about uh, uh, what commercial um, land use for this area? No. Mm. This project, uh, profitability, in order to increase the profitability of this project, mm. would you like to limit the height of each floor and uh, maximize the floor floorage? Or maybe we can invite the tenant, one tenant for each three floors each. Which is the approach would you like to go? Oh. So oh, small okay, number of tenants, uh -huh. but the profitable or maximizing the area. Can 然後for一個foreign,foreign,commercial for the me, uh, for the medium floor, which is mainly for community uh, purpose, and also we have some of it reserved for business use as well. Come go, Chang. 
question. No, that's not the question. Uh, would you like to uh, uh, rent to a lot of tenants or a small number of tenants? Ah, okay, okay, let's okay. skip this question. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry. He asked you so small number of tenants of the profitable We are going to propose to rent it to different small tenants, but it really depends on the proportion and the allocation per tenant request. Hmm. Then we'll okay, that's okay, that's, that's not the question. Would you like yeah. to invite just one or two tenants, but uh, profitable, like casino? Or uh, Lambo, uh, uh -huh. a more low, uh, high number, large number of uh, non profitable, not so prof low profitable tenants. Okay. So it's okay. It's All okay. right. So this proposal is so different from others. So, as a landmark, whether it fits into the town or not. Maybe we have to apply a different set of criteria to make a judgment. In this plan, people are walking around on the green, but uh, these people, are they, why are they here? I can't imagine within the ecosystem, why, why do, they, do people come here and use the green on the area? I don't understand the motivation. As a architectural model, I understand, but the, what are the social or uh, psychological context? Why do people, uh, motiv uh, are, are they motivated to come? Uh, uh, I think that the, because that architecture is so impactful, that's why people will come. In terms of the architecture, there are layers. There is open space and uh, um, close, open, close. But how to climb to the open space and how does the program interact with the open space? I can't see that. It is quite sort of a binary relationship, internal space, external space, internal space, and external space. And you, you can only exit from the uh, above floors, one floor above. And then uh, there should be some uh, concepts or ideas. The shape, the landscape is very beautiful, but inside the ceiling in between, do they have any functions and so forth? So in terms of the uh, architecture, I think there is a room for improvement in that sense. Well, it's time, so we would like to close this session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now the last team, entry number 216. Please start your presentation. We'll you can see the screen. Yes, please go ahead. Wavering flag of Momochi. Ongoing remote work promotion to allow us to become free from place of work and time of the, the day at work. Life between home and urban center will transform into life in the neighborhood or where people dwell. More than ever before, our life, including living, working, and playing, will happen and stay in the community. Uh, we cannot hear you well. Do you need a mask? Sorry. Sorry. What's the microphone you have? You're talking to the computer? Uh, yes, I'm talking to the computer. You have too much noise. Maybe the paper is touching the computer. Can you hear me? Uh, it's much better. 
シーサイドモモツは30年前当時の近未来的都市像が反映されています。シーサイドモモツは、リフレクトアンイメージのモダン、フューチュリスティック、アーバンライフを30 years ago、that was a popular utopia and living there gives a sense of social status。that was one of the appeals of the community。The monuments which comprise the appeal included large space urban facilities, spacious motorways, high end housing complex, and intra district zoning. These features look like、uh, representing a focus not on everyday life, but on how to spend a leisure time elegantly. Such a view of life still holds and causes a gap between this view and what is desired today and going forward as attractive features. On the other hand, various urban functions of seaside Momochi attract visitors of the,、um, different generations and nationalities from outside the district. These are existing barriers of the district. We propose a community which hosts diverse forms of living and adapt to the changes over time. This is a community free from the classic image of an utopian life. It is an embodiment of living a life here and now. We call such a community a、uh, An AI community. They've、uh, come up with、uh, two uh, proposals. Seaside Momochi is far from the、uh, subway stations and is not accessible easily. We will improve the traffic、uh, gateway to organize the foot traffic of residents and tourists better. The community cycle infrastructure、uh, will also be、um, installed to add values. Our second proposal is a way of life. A resident rents a bedroom as a minimum living function. Then residents can rent other functions as needed. These functions may be distributed across the community and made openly available to involve visitors as well. This chart describes the relationships of different entities, open living functions. We develop a relationship between and among entities. Then, using a function, a small key is obtained by an app. Apps enable administrators to collect the usage data. Regarding a form of community, we are focused on these elements, which are opposed to the existing elements in the district. Regarding architectural considerations, we will divide the community into light functions and create airy、uh, or openness in between spaces. We will rearrange the layout by、um, shifting the room angles and turning. In between space into、um, a different kind of a space. We will create、uh, layered structures with rooms in order to build a variety of space. Higher structures will be placed on the south and lower structures on the northern side. Structures will harmonize better with the surroundings. This is a bus、uh, terminal. On both ends of the, the boys, we have、uh, big、uh, openings. And、uh, this is a very open、uh, structure. You can look up from the street side. And rooms、uh, placed at angles allow for uh, uh, space uh, uh, like this. And townscape、um, feature, featuring a variety of space where life best suited for each space will be lived. The community is based upon the system、uh, of rent, renting a place. And here, the wavering scenes will form a face of the seaside Momochi, symbolizing not the future, but present day. Thank you. Hayasan, any question? Thank you for your presentation. When I looked at this illustration, I was wondering、uh, whether this was、uh, a creation of、uh, a lady. Or a gentleman, and now I understand it was not a lady. Question. Your main illustration is uh, uh, almost like、uh, an image. It is、uh, really not a specific、um, bus terminals versus houses.、Uh, the actual size、uh, is not relevant, it seems. This is an image、uh, uh, that you want to have for, for the bus terminal and houses. So, in your presentation today, well, this is an image, but specifically, this is what we propose. So, that is what I was expecting you to say, but、uh, it didn't quite happen. 
that was a bit uh, disappointing. But for the specificity, this is the size of the bus terminal, and this is the size of the houses. Have you done such simulation on this project? Now, for the bus terminal, uh, it's 30 meters wide, and, and then length is about 90 meters. And for living room, you should have a minimum functions for living. That should all fit. So it's like um, 15 square meters of the area. That is the basis. Then if needed, we would add additional function. If uh, you eat uh, with more than um, uh, one um, person, it should also be accommodated. So if for certain places where we would increase the um, uh, footprint of the house. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Shigematsu, so this is uh, the feeling, but it's not quite an architectural idea, but you do have a scale model. So if you could uh, show the model better with a camera. So please show us the bus terminal. No, we need uh, the overall structure how the um, residential elements uh, are attached to this. This is um, a detailed scale model. Hmm. In the center. Well, this is a uh, uh, 90 versus um, 40 or 15, that, that is the size of the bus terminal. So this is an image of uh, the bus terminal, size of the bus terminal. For the ribbon space. Uh, yes. Now we should be able to see better. These are the pillars or columns. Columns. And in around this, we place uh, the ribbon units. And they form a continuum, a row of uh, living units. Elevator. Where is the elevator? Inside the column, in the center. As we have built uh, a scale model, I think it it's, has some feasibility of actually being happening. But if the judges have um, uh, something more to see uh, with some specificity. We uh, could have had a better understanding, but the scale model is on your side. Uh, we really cannot see. Oh. Uh, this is causing a difficulty for you to convey your idea. But uh, you could have uh, done uh, differently. For instance, you should have uh, sent the scale model to the judges because of the power of uh, uh, the um, scale model uh, in terms of uh, conveying your idea. Uh, bus terminal? Uh, well, you, you feature the bus terminal because you work for the private railway company? No, it just so happened. Uh, as in the previous team said, uh, this uh, is a, um, a hub for the uh, transportation service and should be a gateway for the district. No, I was half joking. 
Sorry. But do you do have a very good uh, sketches? So it's a very small scale, cute um, housing units versus uh, bus terminal. But these are the housing units spontaneously happening around the bus terminal. Well, as this uh, is the second and final screening for the uh, competition, you should have prepared your answers to this type of uh, uh, easily expected uh, questions. But actually, your plan is interesting, and the layout of the uh, housing unit is very interesting. Uh, so it looks like you have um, resolved these uh, questions, or, or, or you haven't. But uh, the scheme model is so good, so you could have done better. But overall, uh, we uh, can appreciate the, the image. Uh, your challenge is um, how to combine a better explanation with this well-made scale model. And is there no any question or comment? Now the third team, the HUT proposal, they are taking advantage of existing structures and they are uh, inserted the huts in the structure. So there are single family houses um, of uh, uh, that type of structure that may be good in sort of fitting on the existing structure. If you could come up with something like that, it is very exciting. So we can really work with such um, housing element. But Mr. Baba, when I looked at uh, this sketch or these sketches, so this looked like uh, uh, these things could happen, a settlement uh, accidentally uh, emerging, but under a, a certain uh, rule. Uh, 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 if this could happen, um, between uh, spontaneous development and uh, development under a kind of uh, a rule, it should be nice. So I was expecting uh, s s s some explanation in this uh, final screening. Well, there are different uh, transportation means, but you chose bus. Uh, why? Uh, but it's located in the dairy center. Uh, it's very interesting. Maybe the rules or the systems. Have you thought about uh, um, these rules? They have chosen bus. Uh, why? Now, that's the question of why the bus. So the, this area is far from subway stations and the existing bus services. So we thought we should take advantage of existing transportation services to improve the access from Hakata and other areas to improve the convenience. And also for the bus center, this is not just a bus station, it's a bus center. So to convey the image of a destination to visitors or, or uh, perhaps it would be easier for the visitors to call a facility a bus center instead of a bus station. Uh, let me supplement uh, if I could. Now, a bus center uh, was placed in that dairy center because uh, people come from the urban areas to Momochi district. That's why we need have a bus center for their transportation and uh, uh, the um, living units um, are small, like 10 square meters or 15 square meters, very human scale size, small size. So this uh, bus center serves as a gateway to 
those small units uh, for living. And uh, this is like a tunnel uh, that you go into eventually to the uh, living uh, unit. That is why it's located in the center. Now, the rules for making forms, shapes, we talked about the bus center for the, those surrounding structures. Now, we do not like the existing uh, urban layout for Momochi, so we thought we should propose something as an alternative layout. Scale-wise, it should uh, fit with the surrounding landscape, the bus center in the center, and towards the bus center, the streets or passes uh, are running across. And so there are living units placed around. Oh, just one more thing, if I may. Order or rules, or in terms of rules, we have different orientations for the uh, houses. They're looking in a different direction, and in, in for the in-between spaces, we have um, space like uh, a backyard or garden for, for connecting with um, people outside. This is a vague space. And intentionally, we thought uh, that they shouldn't be an orderly sort of a layout, a, a sort of a vague uh, uh, layout for this uh, relationship to happen. Well, this is a bus terminal. That is the point. In, if you travel an Asian city, or you remember how it was, but the many um, people um, from outside would come uh, in large number to a place like this. And then we need a cushion between these uh, outside people and people who live here. And as in the first team proposal, we do have extensive network being developed. And then outside people would come to this place by a bus, and then they um, get off the bus uh, in this place. Um, I'm talking about this in a positive manner. And uh, well, there will be all sorts of different uh, uh, life uh, lived by people who live here. But as um, the people from outside are coming into this community, uh, on this co very connecting point, uh, you have located the bus terminal, according to your proposal. Well, there are residents and people coming outside. Uh, they should uh, uh, be related, uh, getting to know each other. But how can you uh, sort of uh, uh, protect uh, the, the people from outside? Uh, I mean, how you can pro protect the people, uh, the residents from those outsiders coming in? Now, for those outsiders versus uh, residents, how they uh, uh, get uh, mingled, what they do. First, these are the visitors from outside. They arrive at the bus terminal, and bus terminal itself is very open, no walls. And then they can easily uh, find their way to outside uh, uh, into the community. In the higher structure, uh, there are open space where people can dwell. And then there are stairs to go down. Now for outsiders, when they come in, 
直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、まあ、居住空間に、なんか、あの、直接的すぎるというか、Space to allow for mingling of the outsiders and the residents. Shingematsu-san, please. You think, in terms of、uh, an architecture, well, technically speaking, you, you have parking. Uh, if you have a living space uh, uh, above, uh, the question is、uh, how to align the grid between the parking space and living space. And now, for this bus terminal on the ground floor, you have、uh, infrastructure uh, down there,、uh, and then the、uh, residential space. Uh, Above, I don't think you have a good visibility in terms of how they are、um, related. You just put、uh, a residential quarters on top of the bus、uh, terminal. Would you, you say、um, the logic of、uh, residential quarters is、uh, trying to? Uh, force、um, the bus terminal into something uh, uh, different or the other way around. There is a, a, a sense of tension between these two different、uh, functions. If we could pursue along this line, I, I'm sure you can make this project a more interesting one. In terms of、uh, a structure, we have、uh, Residential areas and bus terminal, there are no direct、uh, um, involvement. Bus terminal, no, ma. Now, here is the shape of a bus terminal、uh, with openings. Also, the residential units are. Uh, uh, long uh, rectangle, rectangular with an open space. So, some commonality um, is um, given between these two different structures. Enomoto san, any questions? I know. 自然発生的なこう丘に張り付く、えー。For the spontaneously happening、um, rows of、uh, residential units,、uh, how you can make use of the space inside the units? And one solution is the bus terminal. But which came first? The bus terminal first? And then you thought about what to do with the space outside the bus terminal. Or you thought you should build、um, a spontaneous、uh, rows of、uh, housing units、uh, developing along the slope. And then bus terminal. Next. And we first focused upon the existing attractiveness of、uh, the area. Uh, where there was a bus terminal, many people come through the bus terminal. We started with、uh, a bus terminal and then ended with a structure like this. In the center, well, uh, well you, you come in through the bus terminal, that is why it's located in the center. And regardless of、uh, the housing, Quarters,、uh, they can go into parts of、uh, Mamochi. Also, if they could、uh, go up vertically on top of the horizontal extension, we have uh, this uh,、um, circular expansion 
of uh, people uh, traffic uh, upward and also sideways. But thank you. As it is time, let us close the session at this time. We have all the presentations done and we break for 15 minutes at this time. And we start um, 1640 Japan time. So please stay connected, but turn the microphone off. Thank you. はい、皆さんお待たせいたしました。それでは後半の審査を始めたいと思います。え、なお、一時審査の通過者の皆さんは、えっと、審査員から質問があるバイモゴザイマスので、その時に
the attractiveness of the building itself uh, to attract the people. So the Chinese presentation focused on the attraction of the building itself. So these are totally different concepts. And then what would be the ideal construction and architecture for the new era? So that was a question posed by those uh, proposals. So in that sense, it was good to see all of these different ideas. It broadened my perspectives and I'm looking forward to the results. Shigematsu-san, what do you think? Probably uh, what I'm going to say is similar to what Baba-san said. Uh, when I saw each of the ideas, the most impressive uh, wording was uh, something I listed up. For example, interactive, reflection of voices, determination, definition of values, mobilizing, education, island, island of waves, independence, airy, and uh, so forth. So those words suggest that you don't want to be bound by structures and buildings. You want to be free from those. And you want to make it more interactive and uh, make decisions with everybody else. You don't want to be imposed ideas and guidelines from the top. So those are the voices I think I heard from the proposal. And there was a consistency in that sense, and a consistency that reflects the um, times that we are living today. So that was a great uh, learning for me uh, in participating in today's event. And the question is how to commercialize those. Well, everyone talked about different aspects such as startup, but do startups go to the banks, the venture or venture capitals and make presentations like they did because they are eager to get the money. That's something that maybe probably the participants can study more and in front of the judges, how to make the presentation. I think that they knew that uh, this is different from other competitions because there are actual opportunities. I think that uh, um, uh, they could have uh, focused on that accept, aspect, but the idea itself was tangibles and intangibles, commercial aspects. If uh, they are to cover all of these elements in a five minute presentation, maybe that was a, a tall order to um, satisfy. Yes, now what do you think? Well, uh, I agree with other comments, others' comments, but uh, the fact that uh, I was included in the judging panel was that uh, we are to evaluate the uh, not only the architectural uh, aspects, but also the human and uh, uh, intangible aspects. I think that was the intention. In that sense, design thinking from one person, the story begins, that kind of uh, uh, aspect or uh, concept is something I wanted to see. But as Shigematsu said, although uh, all of the designer didn't want to be bound by the structures and architectures, but cannot have the um, clear uh, visibility into the future, what the future would be like. That's what I felt when I was listening to the presentations today. But if you don't, they don't have the visibility, they could have found someone who has a vision. As an architect, they could have done that. Because in many cases, arch architects are the ones to bring the solutions. Sometimes they fail to see the perspectives of the people who have the problems. But excellent architects can empathize with the people who have the problems. They can get connected with those people to realize the project. But in today's presentation, when I was looking, I think that they have not uh, found or met with the people who are looking for the solutions. Thank you. Next is uh, Enomoto-san. What did you think? In the past, we would see some uh, square tower like a building, and uh, in that building, uh, people allocated the housing space, office space, and other spaces. In that way, there was only one face to face the lower floor, 
but because of the COVID-19 situation, people have the desire to be in touch with the outside, the nature and so forth, 360 degrees. And there were many uh, presentations which gave us uh, the solution to that problem. So the buildings were inside of the city or town, but they were trying to uh, find a way to find a space which is not confined in the uh, gray buildings. So on one hand, there are tower uh, condominiums. The efficiency and the profitability has been enhanced to the extent that is uh, uh, to a very, very high level. So if we are to exceed that, uh, that's a great challenge, but I want to find solutions in today's discussion, because once we give up on that task, and then we can find a solution for post-corona era. Therefore, for the presentation, uh, people who made the presentations, if you have any suggestions, uh, please contact us at the uh, Fukuoka Jisho R and I, because we would like to listen to your ideas. Okay. Now we would like to move on to the specific ideas. Now, Mr. Baba, uh, anything you are very uh, interested, uh, I'd like to invite your comments. It's not very uh, good or, or bad, but uh, something that was uh, uh, interesting, 122 and 128 is two projects they had similar spatial structure and was a, a slope uh, or a, a description of the existing building. Uh, well, there are some differences, um, but uh, they're trying to build uh, the, the land and then just buildings should be placed on top of this plot of land. 178 uh, proposal from China. So the um, different floors uh, put on top of each other, many layers. So that's the, the building. These three are sort of a symbolic. Then the question of uh, the commercial viability of the project. Then I thought about this uh, in the, the venture um, business uh, mind. So uh, you, you lease the land and with minimum structure, um, uh, you work on that, or uh, you would uh, sell the subdivision of the land to make up for the, the cost. Even with the in-between space, um, small space, you, you can earn some income. So you usually uh, will have subdivisions of a building, but uh, you can do the same for the plot of land. So, the Chinese proposal um, was uh, very attractive. Um, if uh, you have create um, um, a structure that the plot which uh, has a landmark value, people will come, the funding will come. So it was so uh, clear cut. But the question is how to make this happen. So 176. Uh, so once done, uh, there will be tenants coming to fill the, the space. What the Japanese project? So, so you, you need to develop a, a very complicated uh, program to go with uh, the project presented. So if um, the more detailed uh, explanation of the program follows, uh, that was um, that would complete um, the project. Inamoto san is a question of um, uh, commercial viability and uh, also um, the, the, the monumental value of uh, the, the land. Uh, what do you say? To some extent, uh, you lease uh, the, the land, you give uh, freedom to the user so you can create uh, uh, many of such space for sale, for rent, uh, to make uh, it a business. 
and then which uh, one of the projects could uh, create uh, um, more of such um, a space of value for 110. So you, you, you will go to um, a soft bank or similar companies, uh, and if, if they are attracted, uh, the entire uh, site may be uh, purchased, and that would um, make a commercial sense. The first project is different. Instead of a rent, uh, contents will be uh, offered. Uh, and then developer uh, will be collecting lots of advertisement uh, uh, money. Uh, and uh, uh, it is like a, a YouTube uh, business model. So there are different business models you are talking about. That is correct. Uh, project number 68, and, and then um, 216, and uh, number 68. So um, personally, I thought that they are talking about uh, uh, getting out of the family. So far, the developers are looking at the family as they uh, design and build um, housing. And also, they build uh, office buildings uh, focusing upon the companies. But now, the, the theme for this competition is uh, working close to home. So what is uh, going to be our relationship between work and home? Personally, now, family may not function 10 years after today or um, more even today family is not functioning maybe it is my personal problem for my family i don't know in my case i have very close friends i want to live with uh, eight close friends then we share the uh, first floor and second floor floor um but there are some private uh, space so uh, we um, connected, such group of people are connected by the interest. In this respect, um, work space, um, work uh, um, space, city, uh, Momochi, 110, and also um, 216, uh, they come under this. Category. And, and, and now for 216, burst terminal came first. That was the answer to the question. And uh, I, I thought uh, it's a bit disappointing if uh, instead um, we have people, uh, just one person or a, a group of people, but not family. A community created by a variety of um, Personalities would be um, a community like this one, 110. Uh, living to be shared, living a room to be shared. And also for the individual uh, private rooms, uh, the, it's not really closed by uh, the solid door, uh, but um, it is sort of uh, a hidden, or, or so people do not see a part of the space. That was interesting. Shigen Matasam, um, given what Mr. Baba said, what would you like to say? Mr. Baba was talking about uh, 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 the international subdivision sales uh, of the land. Uh, that's interesting. But now uh, uh, the, the, the prices are very high. Uh, therefore, we have to come up with uh, the idea suitable for the level of uh, uh, Real energy prices. <laughs> and 122, 128 are sort of similar. Uh, but uh, uh, for me, 122 had a clearer story behind because uh, they're not trying to create artificial. Um, 
foundation but 128 uh, uh, did uh, uh, create or proposing to create uh, such artificial uh, uh, ground so i thought uh, they um, haven't uh, worked out uh, the details uh, well enough costs cost should be very different uh, but again startups if uh, it is um, a head office of uh, um, a big company, it could happen, but uh, uh, now they are talking about um, um, fireworks for the community, uh, so it's not quite realistic. And the theme uh, or the target was uh, the specific place, um, Seaside Momochi. So from this uh, perspective, which project could uh, um, impact uh, the entire district. Then 110 could go beyond the physical uh, limit of the, the district. And well, it would really um, gives us an image of what we can do with the entire community. Uh, but uh, it is not quite realistic, uh, although it is talking about uh, uh, expansion. It, so maybe this is uh, ex um, housing place. They think that this is ex family. Uh, I don't know whether you, you can really say so, because this is nothing new. We had uh, personal space. Uh, that is how we call the living room. I wonder if people really want to live in a space like this. The last one, the uh, 216. And now the uh, space is uh, adjacent and there is a shared space. But we need uh, accessibility for uh, uh, a vehicle. And uh, is it really true that people want to share to this extent? Maybe we can ask again. Maybe I'm too uh, hard-headed. Uh, young people may have no problem uh, living like that. Um, because of COVID-19, now we have offices within the homes and the gym within homes, and uh, we are doing international conferences at home. So everything is merging with the homes. So the living space has been dramatically expanding these days. Even third place type of uh, areas are uh, provided you know, within the homes. So the home uh, domain has expanded greatly these days. And whether we can accept those cubicles as the new homes, uh, given what happened over the last one year, I don't think that's the direction people want to go. So if we think about the architecture in the future, uh, in view of the dramatic change that's happened today, so the places are on spectrums. It's not the one or zero. So what kind of living space do people want on that uh, gradient? Number 68 uh, showed us some hints and clues and ideas uh, about it. That's, and uh, we can't ignore uh, those ideas anymore. That's why I think that 68 uh, addressed these uh, questions. But uh, is the solution actually these uh, white boxes and the bordering championship or not? <laughs> Do people really want to go into those white box to look at the overseas sceneries? I don't think so. The logic of uh, getting the people uh, gathered together in that white pick, uh, box was not clear enough. But there were some potentials that uh, I was able to see in that uh, project as a whole. Like uh, in the area where people get together and uh, share the living space, but uh, uh, the reality was lacking in the actual proposal. So only by uh, showing 
the image does not provide us a concrete solution. So the, what, is, what about the family issue Hayashi-san raised? What do you think, Baba san Yes, in the uh, presentation, in the discussion, those cubicles may uh, uh, represent uh, over uh, expectation for the community. Unless you have overwhelming trust in the people in the same community, it doesn't make sense. So there are too much a utopian uh, way of thinking. So if the family become nuclear and uh, we are reflecting the past mistakes of allowing too much nuclear family, but uh, do we uh, go to that extent is the question. So Chiaki-san uh, talked about the eight people alternative family. I think that is a, a logical extension of what we are seeing today. And then if that's the case, uh, it would not be those small cubicles. Rather than that, uh, maybe the spaces would be more wider and a bigger space to accommodate eight or so people. Right. I think this is also because of the way it was presented. Hayashi-san is very good because she can convey what she really wants to see in her remarks. But those cubicles, if the presenters really believe in it and uh, living through these uh, cubicles, and then in the presentation, maybe it was more, more convincing. And uh, I could tell that the people who empathize with this concept will come to uh, live together. But uh, uh, today, the presentations are made uh, on a more gen general point of view. That's why uh, I, we had to pose the questions about uh, whether these um, are feasible or not. Brother San, you asked about uh, questions about community. So for such big community, is it difficult? Is the management of the community a challenge? I think you are faced with similar challenges in your work. So when the group is big enough and then uh, we try to conquer and govern, otherwise it will fall apart. Developers in Japan, uh, they try to do that, but the only with that governance and the cities or towns will be, uh, become boring. So we need more uh, space for people to be free. So in the past, we were uh, governance centric, but we, we have to change the mode. Uh, each individual's self-expression should be accommodated. And uh, even with the governance and the management, we should allow more uh, freedom for individuals going forward. And uh, in today's presentations, I saw a lot of uh, uh, exploration about the freedom of the individuals. But only with the freedom, it's not society. We have to have a glue or something to put people together despite the freedom. I think uh, that's true with the management of a company. Uh, whether you want to govern the company with the strict uh, management and control, uh, that's one way to go. And that was in the past, but now it's changing. And uh, there are different management approaches today we are seeing in today's society. That's something that we wanted to see in the proposals today. Hayasa, what do you think about those types of management? Uh, between individuals and companies. Well, to me, you may laugh at me, but uh, I think that the companies uh, used to take care of the people. I think the relationship will be, be reversed sooner or later. Uh, people have their own desires about what they want to do. And then if there are platforms that can allow the individuals to get those what they want and obtain what they want. And then uh, that's the direction people would be mobilized and I would go for that direction. So he said uh, two different types of management. I agree with that approach. And uh, 
going to talk about 122. I have a question to 122. Because uh, in the beginning, when I saw those circles, I thought that uh, those were like ruins. Devastated places. I don't want to live in such a ruined place or live devastated place. But when I saw the model, that gave me a very positive impression. So when I saw that the model together, probably it not it would not be a circles like this. How can I explain? For each individual or each individual user and the person who drew these circles. Well, they are a team of a man and a woman. Maybe that explains. Those two things go against each other. If it's circle, if they look like ruins. So which one is the main concept? Kiri-san, can you answer the question? Kiri-san, are you there? Could you turn on your um, camera? Were you listening? Did you get the question? Whether it's the uh, vibrant town or a ruin, which one? Why you felt it was a ruin was because of the past that we showed in the first screening, the quality of the past. I think. I will share later, but we developed further from the first level screening. In that sense, a little bit softer image is something that we have come up with since then. And another point for us, yes, we are working together. Two of us are working together. There may be some misunderstanding because we do talk to each other and proceeded with the project. And uh, we had a similar image and we shared the same concept. So there wasn't a gap uh, between us. It was because of the expression that we had at the time of the first level screening. I thought so. At the time of the first the screening, it was like uh, ruins. But in the second screen today, it has been improved a lot. Yes, it's not that the uh, me, a uh, man, worked on the ruin and the female, the lady, worked on the uh, warm atmosphere. It's not that way. Okay, understood. Shigematsu-san, um, let's move on to the next theme, 176 monument. Uh, so no, the no, uh, we want to discuss uh, whether the, uh, this monument um, uh, is rather uh, different in terms of how uh, the city should uh, um, stand. Now, uh, if a building is seen like a, a ruin, um, we should rather have a, a building which should be looking like a structure full of life. Now, for instance, 122, we would decompose um, or, or demolish uh, this uh, building. And then we can do some experiment like uh, uh, this proposal. But then it's interesting. Instead of uh, this structure to continue permanently as they are, the green portion on the top uh, and then the open place in the bottom are different. Uh, the top portion should uh, be still um, um, generating income, the bottom part uh, is rather different. And now for the uh, 176, uh, there is a power of um, uh, architectural structure. And well, this is really a product of uh, depression, uh, depressed economy uh, in a way. And I think there is a relationship between uh, the depressed economy um, and the power of an architecture. Japan has suffered from uh, a depression for many years, and uh, we are not coming up with uh, an idea like this. And I, I'm, I'm sure uh, the teachers teaching uh, the architectural uh, study uh, should be um, talking about that. Uh, and I, when this project was um, chosen, 
in the first screening. Uh, I'm sure this uh, was an idea behind uh, um, uh, those uh, choosing uh, an idea. And I really want uh, the participants to understand an idea like this uh, could be chosen. But this is uh, very well uh, um, made uh, um, an idea. Uh, if um, um, the father pursued uh, uh, architecturally, um, then uh, it, it would have uh, even better uh, appreciation. Uh, because of this binary nature of a structure, we cannot really find uh, a continuum uh, in this uh, structure. That is a bit a disappointing part. Uh, uh, Ms. Hayashi, what do you think of this um, proposal? I'm just a lay person. So if this is built uh, in Momochi, I want to go and see myself because uh, this uh, really is an architecture with um, a power. That is what I feel. Yet, if this structure can stand, there should be something close to this uh, standing somewhere. But I personally have seen a block house uh, in Omote Sando, there are some space um, between um, the building structure, but otherwise, there's no uh, structure like this staggered uh, layers of uh, structures nowhere in the world. Maybe actually this is too challenging. Uh, apart from uh, the user's point of view, this proposal really conveys a power of uh, architecture. It's not a matter of uh, physical uh, feasibility. So, uh, uh, some money, a uh, large amount of money needs to be spent to build this uh, um, architectural structure for its uh, impact. It's impossible because uh, uh, there's no commercial viability. If this is a part of uh, a space uh, park, or if there's any other way of uh, making use of uh, a structure, it is, this is uh, possible. Uh, uh, a, a structure. This could be an um, art museum, the exhibition rooms and gallery. If it is for a very different program, I'm sure this was even more convincing. People want to talk about uh, this. If you come up with uh, uh, the, the proposal with such powerful architectural building, um, we can find the possibility or feasibility. Yes, if this could be built, it should be really um, compelling. Um, proposal number 68, maybe the answer could be found here in this project. You want to experience uh, uh, this building, but that experience could be uh, three billion different ways. Therefore, we need a landmark building like this one. And maybe 80 million people will come and see yet. Um, everybody uh, on Earth will remember uh, um, uh, this building as uh, a part of their personal memory. So if these projects collaborate together, it should be interesting. And what, so talking about three billion people, everybody wants to go and see. So this is a, a, a being a quite inviting. But I think there is so-called an entropy for an icon, um, a building. We have uh, a Marina Bay Sands buildings. The more layers you have, uh, better, it's better. Marina, the sons have three towers. But now there's now another idea of connecting six different towers. Mm -hmm. Baba Sam was talking about uh, 
growth and there'll be propagation of ideas or buildings the question is uh, whether it makes a business sense and you need to be convinced when i looked at this well yes we, we shouldn't um, uh, live a uh, small inside a small country like japan but as we need to ex increase our entropy what we can do what do you think yes i agree with matashima san number 68 but digital part is more powerful than a real part and therefore what you can do is uh, just like uh, the proposal for 176 and if we are to choose um, 176 for the grand prize it is good for the people looking at this from the distance but for those uh, inside this structure do you think uh, people want to work um, along this uh, space between two layers is it uh, 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 better to work uh, uh, on this structure rather than work you know, in the park what is going to be the motivation uh, for the people to work in between these uh, layers of uh, uh, this um, building. There were times when people come for a landmark uh, buildings. There are many spectacular techniques, but that uh, today, that is not really what people are looking after. Then uh, 176 project, 176 may represent the vulnerability of a landmark structure. Uh, it is a sort of a trade-off. Now, number 68, and uh, well, th this contains an element which could be a part of uh, any architectural project uh, for the, the next generation. So there is a good, uh, um, affinity between these two projects. It could be a part of any infrastructure of the future. Well, as time is running short, let us uh, try and vote. Please pick three best projects. And then we will see what, I would ha what happens. So I can choose three. Yes because uh, we can have um, uh, three um, winners uh, for first, second prizes, grand prize, and um, award for excellence, all together three. <laughs> Actually, I, I know what my three projects. This is going to be a long journey from this point. Depending on which perspective to apply and the answer is different. What did you think about 216 brass terminal um, idea, Baba-san? We talked about it, uh, the utopian. Uh, utopianism is too strong, I thought, with the bus terminal idea, because people would not feel so happy using that uh, space. And uh, although diluted, there still is a concept of ownership or domination of the territories. I think there is a strong belief in that by on the side of the architect and 20 square meters is so small as well. If the space uh, has different sizes, that would be better. Or if there are boundaries which are not uh, visible, that would be better. So what are the rules and the uh, guiding principles to put this place together? If they, they proposed it, that would have been different. 
In terms of the scenery, uh, someone said it's like a Mykonos Island, and there is a, a is intuitive uh, desire for that kind of place. That's why in the first uh, screening, we voted for this. But if we think uh, more than that, and then we can, uh, there is something that uh, prevents us from agreeing to it. Okay, here's the results. Uh, we see some concentration. Uh, all, everyone voted for 110 and 176, four votes. So 122, three. So in terms of the ranking, one, two, and three, those three ideas. How about the 110? Everyone voted for this. Shigemasa, why did you vote for this? One, 110. Well, let me see. If I could repeat the same thing. This is new. It's like uh, in the past, the uh, Japanese people were looking for Californian uh, culture, lo looking up to that. This reminds me of this. They thought about the master plan first, and after that, they thought about the living room. The way they presented was uh, uh, relatively logical. It's nothing special, but the presentation was uh, um, properly done, managed, well managed and the uh, architecture was designed well. And then if there is something like this at one place, although there are some questionable details, but that it would be interesting and uh, how to rejuvenate the town in, from that perspective, this one is most realistic and easy to imagine and envision. So it's a kind of a, um, a not drastic, but uh, it was properly done, well managed the project. There were some uh, improvement needed in terms of the uh, concept of work, but uh, they covered all of the important points. So it was properly managed. So whether it should be the Grand Prix or not is another question, right? Yes, yes. Well, there was no vote for number 68, and uh, for 128, Enomoto san, you voted for this. Uh, sorry, when, uh, 216, Enomoto san voted for this. But what do you think? Can we delist this? Sorry to 216, but uh, I think it is okay to delist this. But uh, I like this idea uh, because outside of the hill, well, the central part had to be profitable enough. That's why they made it the bus terminal. And I evaluated it highly because well, bus terminal is not the uh, negative facility like a garbage treatment facility or transformation facility. It's not like that. But the uh, uh, by a bus terminal, which is not uh, necessarily exciting, uh, you compensated for the uh, dullness with the exciting uh, facilities around that. Yes, yes, uh, that problem happens when we construct the garbage treatment facility. So we, we can use the same idea to make it more exciting as a whole. So as we try to narrow down, can we eliminate the 68 and 216. Uh, so we have four left. So how do we decide? Do we try to eliminate or do we try to pick the best one out of those four? Maybe we should pick three uh, first out of four. Okay, we have four um, ideas now. 110 and 176 are different types of ideas compared with others. And 122 and 128 are a little bit similar. It's not that uh, it's good to have different types. Maybe we can leave, we can keep either 122 or 128. Yes, let's do that. How do we decide? Shigemasu-san, what do you think between 122 and 128? Shigemasu-san, you voted for both. Right, uh, that's true. 
Although I said these are all cubicles and circles, but uh, I think I was influenced by the comments made by Baba san, making the whole new ground on top of that, they explored to put uh, some content and uh, um, well, when we think about the uh, post constructivism and uh, metabolism, I think uh, these, uh, this one fits those things and uh, spaces outside of the programming area will become important going forward. And that was uh, well taken in these proposals. And uh, in Japan, uh, since the uh, period of media take, I think this is the characteristic aspect of Japan. So I thought that uh, we should keep uh, those ideas here. But uh, uh, if we, I compare between those two, well, each one has some problems. But maybe someone else can decide. Baba san, you voted for 128. Yes, I wasn't so sure, but uh, because I made those comments, so I thought that uh, I should pick one or the other. That's why I picked 128 over 122, because for 122, it is more or less something imaginable. I could e easily uh, picture it in my mind. So that means uh, it's possible, it can happen. But that was too close. And but uh, because it was feasible, maybe the logic should have been constructed more solidly, but the logic was not so solid. And then uh, all the abstract image was presented. If that's the case, 128 was uh, full of uh, abstract concepts. And the way it was presented was uh, uh, it was a kind of impossible in normal architectural competition. And then people would be put off if they, if they present something like that. But in this comp particular competition, I think that may fit the identity of this competition. In that sense, 128 is okay, I thought. I see it's provisional use or simultaneous use. In those cases, 128 would be possible. Yes, I hope that uh, there was some time frame in 122, like a storyline, like a uh, construction completed and the greenery grow and so forth. And uh, little by little, piece by piece, demolishment and the renewal happens in steps. If there was such a sequence, that would have been better. But in the case of uh, uh, presentation capability, I thought the 128 was better. And my concern, about 122 is that the Momochi construction becomes all green in the end. And I was wondering if that's true. Because all over the world, recently people talk about the greening. We are calling them broccoli construction, but uh, uh, it is too simplistic trying to keep, uh, make everything green. I think, uh, Across is the only one which is okay with the 100% broccoli construction. So in that sense, 128 may be better. But uh, may I make one comment? Yes, what you said is true, but when it comes to the existing construction of building, recycled, reused, 122 is the only one who did it. Besides, within Japan, how to do that was proposed, how to rejuvenate the construction in Japan. When we talk about it, we no longer need any brand new buildings. I think ordinary people uh, firmly believe in that. Rather than having a brand new building, how to renovate the existing building is much more important task. In terms of uh, the society, this is what is happening. And uh, the innovation is relevant. And uh, it, it, it is uh, the innovation of the building, innovation of the community. And there we can see the feasibility. What do you think? 
now for the project 122. This is something that I'm thinking all the time. So I do have a lot of sympathy because it is so cute. Uh, I love it so much so I cannot vote for the project. And in reality, if you think about the scheme, I don't know whether uh, this is is in this particular place, but uh, we can do something like this uh, 122 project uh, elsewhere. So the details should be worked out, and uh, for a skeleton, we should have uh, different sizes S, M, and L. Where do you want to fit this size? I think such uh, an idea is um, feasible. If you take uh, 122 out, we lose this idea. In the initial screening, we have uh, the um, um, circulating um, a building uh, idea. That is why this project survived. And for the question of the commercial viability, we don't know. But for new buildings, uh, Ishigemasu-san is going to build uh, a new building. But I'm sure after many years, uh, we will come up with this need to um, uh, renovate the, the project. If we can come up with a business model for such um, situation, it will be a good. So we had some problem uh, with this project uh, for the feasibility, but this may be solved and then it, it has more value. How Mr. Baba is going to uh, improve this idea? We can demolish the existing building, and then we sell the the, the land um, for different parts. It's a lot lots sales. So it is going to be a different product for sale. But I we I came up with this idea through this discussion today. And for if it is going to be a renovation, at least the, the amount of investment um, money should be less compared with new building. And if uh, the foundation is uh, there, or if we are going to um, build a foundation on top of the artificial ground, uh, it, it will make sense. Um, but this is really the only um, idea um, out of uh, one or over 100 projects. So there is just uh, another one, one more such project uh, of all the applications in terms of renovating the existing structures. So it could be 122 or 128. Now, if we go deep into this idea, I'm sure uh, there are lots of values. Uh, Ikea on the, or uh, Muji uh, houses, um, we can um, make a mass production in the plant and then, then put the blocks together. And then inside uh, the uh, larger buildings, we can fit these blocks um, to create values for the space. So, Mr. Baba, are you okay? Uh, actually, yes, I love this project, so I'm happy. Because I, I like the project, I can see the problems uh, more clearly. So 110, 122, um, 176 uh, will survive for the three top prizes. We need to choose uh, a grand prize of the three. Would you like to pick uh, the one project? 
maybe no need for further discussion. Please raise your hand as we take a vote. Well, it's very difficult, but this is the difficult part. That we cannot have two grand prizes, right? Mm. Any idea? Before we vote, I have a question to everybody. Well, do you think that um, the share prices in Tokyo Stock Exchange would keep uh, rising going forward? Some people are talking about uh, higher and higher share prices in the stock exchanges. Well, today, we have a pandemic, uh, but the government is spending a lot. And uh, the businesses have nowhere else to invest. And, and lots of money in the market. Uh, so that is why the money goes to uh, the stock market. We have um, uh, 30,000 yen um, or TSE, first exchange. Uh, but when uh, the situation changes, people would start investing uh, elsewhere. Therefore, I don't think uh, uh, their share prices could keep uh, going up. Why do you ask a question? Well, now I have decided my vote for the grand prize. So if you're all ready, I, I give you the number. Please raise your hand. 110? About 110 for grand prize. <laughs> 122 for grand prize. And no 176. So it seems we have chosen 110 for the grand prize. Uh, work City Mamoji. Well, actually, this is the school I graduated from. There's nothing personal, I'm afraid. Do not uh, misunderstand. As I have mentioned many times, uh, the overall um, um, community uh, image for innovation or revitalization was well discussed. And this was uh, um, a really a good um, um, way of putting together um, as uh, the best student in class. And as Mr. Baba said, architecture-wise, we have an image of a very pleasant and happy feeling. And we have uh, uh, suffered the deflation so many, many years. And uh, uh, on the beach and in the bungalow, Sounds good. And uh, Fukuoka Jisho can um, pick up a, a project, and your young um, architects uh, can work on um, the idea. So, if uh, you all agree, well, Baba san, are you happy? I have chosen 110. If I may, let me comment. As Mr. Singh said, I think I well, I liked this space. Well, there's no uh, specific center, and public space expands. Yet individuals will find their own place. But there are many such places, and I think something relevant for today because of this free uh, sort of interpretation. And Anamondo san said. Maybe if you go to uh, an IT company, then they may respond. Well, there's no GAFA in Japan. Yet, together with a um, big uh, venture uh, company, 
the city of Fukuoka can offer uh, an office for a new skiing, which is not purely commercial, not purely public. Uh, it is like a, a campus. It looks like a workplace. And so it should look something new. So I, I just came up with this idea of making this more uh, commercially viable. Um, for instance, SoftBank would come here. Um, now, uh, Google tried to do this, uh, something like this in Toronto, an experimental community building. I think it was something like this in Image Y. I don't, I'm not saying this is good, but to revitalize, um, regenerate the Momochi, uh, we need to bring in IT company uh, resources, uh, make it a campus. I was critical uh, originally of such an idea, but I see a possibility, a positive possibility now. And Toronto, in Toronto, there was only one company. Information would all go to this one company, so it didn't happen. Who is trying to do something like this? Uh, if uh, there's only just one uh, company, uh, uh, we have some suspicion. But if the platform is open, it's, it's a different matter. Understood. So uh, we will be choosing uh, for a grand prize for Google International Architecture Competition, uh, the project number 110 um, by um, Kanami Shingenaga, Takanori Ichihara, Takuya Nakamoto, and Maru Yanase. Congratulations. And entry number 122. Uh, for Keisuke Kiri and Yugi Nezuki Twinch, you have the Award of Excellence. Congratulations. Also, entry number 176, the project by um, uh, Yao uh, Yun Ho, uh, Lin Cheng, Cross with Gu, Serene Su Kao. Uh, you have the, the Award of Excellence, Honorable. honorable uh, I mean, out of excellence. And then for the project number 68, you have the honorable uh, mention. Um, and also entry number 128 uh, also have honorable uh, mention. By Sosuke Matsumoto, Shugo Nishijima, Riku Ogawa, Takashi Katsu, Yuko Tagashira, and Yohei Mikami. Congratulations. And third honorable mention will go to entry number 216 by Hikaru Motoki and Yoshima Sanoda. Congratulations. So on behalf of the candidates, we would like uh, a comment from uh, uh, Kagami Ishigenaga-san's team. Uh, could you all uh, turn on your camera, please? Hi. 110. So could you give us a comment uh, as a winner of the prize? Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity this time. As a student uh, among the professional people, uh, being in the competition is a very, very valuable opportunity for all of us. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Ah, May I make another comment? Yes, of course. Can we go through uh, the each member one by one? Yes. Regarding the seaside Momoji, we uh, thought about it a lot, and the COVID-19 uh, pandemic was a great change in society this year. And given that environment, we talked a lot with the uh, other students and uh, talked about this idea and decided on this idea. And going forward, we would like to capture the social changes and try to reflect the social changes in the architecture. Thank you. Next person, Ichihara, please. For this competition, the theme was given and we thought about the theme a lot and uh, um, we have um, uh, given this result. 
and there were some questions that we couldn't answer during the uh, screening process. So there are some problems with us, but we have one year to go before graduation. So we would like to take back and uh, try to uh, improve ourselves based on the feedback that was given this time. Thank you. Nakamoto, personally, the town of Momochi is uh, my um, graduation thesis as well. So I've been thinking about the town for years and uh, I had a, a lot of attachment to this place. So I'm very uh, thrilled to have won this prize. You don't have to wait for another year. We can develop your theme and bring it to Enomoto Science Company. Yes, from today, you can go to the office every day, marketing your ideas to the company. We are looking forward to that. Congratulations. Now, among the judges, we would like to get, uh, get the final remarks, starting with Baba-san. Yes, thank you. Well, this was a very difficult competition because the problem to be solved was too diverse and uh, which, how to approach that was a difficult idea. But the decision we have made at the end of the day was the project that allowed us to think about the future and engage ourselves in uh, uh, heated discussion, intense discussions. So rather than the idea itself, the idea could become the uh, trigger for us to talk about the future. So it was a unique way of uh, uh, selecting the winner. Uh, you see that uh, given the um, selection of the uh, judging panel, you could anticipate this unique way of doing so. So it was not only about the dream. We also had uh, had the opportunity to think about how to realize and commercialize the ideas. So this competition uh, provided a new way of uh, um, utilizing those occasions. So as the very first competition after COVID-19 pandemic, I was very honored to be among the panel members in such a challenging environment. Next, Hanashi-san, please. In the judging process, I thought a lot about the uh, post-COVID-19 architecture. That was a question posed to the judges. Whichever um, proposal I saw, the judges themselves was not really sure I think it was because the judges themselves did not have the answer to the future question. Despite that, the um, Graduate School of Human Environment Studies, Kyushu University, I didn't know Shigematsu-san, you graduated from this school, but uh, uh, as the judging panel committee chairman, uh, you didn't uh, vote for this because of that. That was the honorable thing. The enthusiasm of uh, uh, the students. That was quite attractive to me because looking back on the process, I thought that they proposed this uh, shell to be built alongside the coast and uh, keep updating the uh, shell. They clearly said that it's not that the architects provide some idea and the consumer consume that. It's not like that. The consumer always try to have a dialogue with the architect and uh, uh, keep changing the um, product over the time. I think that would be the future way of uh, positioning architectures. I think uh, and this uh, project was selected from that perspective as well. For many, many years so far until today, the process was uh, the uh, family uh, was uh, the basis for uh, individuals to be participating in the society. But uh, what is going to replace family going forward? Uh, the answer has not been found yet, but one of the 
uh, alternatives was provided by this project, I think. So in that sense, the, uh, the uh, screening process itself was a very enjoyable process. Next is Matsushima-san. Thank you. Well, actually, I have never been in Momochi. And after this assignment, I decided to go. But right after that, the uh, order business travel was banned. And I didn't have the opportunity to go there. But uh, being able to meet each other on this uh, online setup is a, a remarkable change in society. So what would be the architecture in 2020s was something that I had to think a lot about. And uh, together with those uh, wonderful uh, judges, and uh, I appreciate this valuable opportunity. In Wired, we deal with technology and we always talk about architecture, uh, social structure and uh, people's way of living in the society, including politics and how people move. So the designing of the architecture is something that the architects always think about. And I think that the architects are getting more and more open to society in that sense. And in the last part of the discussion, we talked about the management of the freedom space. So depending on the architecture, uh, the amount of autonomy to be built into the uh, project uh, would be different. And that is a very important question in today's society. In that sense, the winner of the uh, award, um, Waki City Momochi, uh, addressed that point. Uh, Shigemasu-san said, uh, this uh, covers the uniqueness of Momochi, and that's what I, I liked about this project. And also, they use the kickboard, and this is uh, uh, becoming making people autonomous because people can come and go anytime, anywhere, and using this uh, kickboard. And uh, with these uh, small concepts, uh, I was able to think about the uh, openness of uh, architecture to society or community. And in that sense, I really enjoyed the process of uh, being among the judges. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Next is Enomoto-san. Uh, thanks to Shin Kenchiku, uh, the organizer, I was able to work with uh, those wonderful judges. It was a great opportunity for us, for our company's projects. I would like to get the advice from those members. For the award winner, 122, uh, they, there was a business potential for huts, as I said earlier, and for 176 dynamic construction for 176, they should work together with Shigematsu-san to make improvements on this project so that uh, it can become a more uh, feasible project. And for 110, uh, congratulations for uh, getting the award. You have another year to go. And then uh, you may have already decided, but uh, you can join our company anytime. And uh, to the students of 110, I can tell that uh, you need uh, some momentum, otherwise the project uh, uh, will not be realized and uh, it does not help Momochi. And I don't think you have the answer to this question yet. So in the uh, department of uh, Kyushu University, it can be the core or anchor, or Steve Jobs uh, type of personality can live here and that can become the uh, anchor or is it the Taizo song? I don't know what would be the anchor, but what you need in this project is an anchor. And please uh, uh, keep contact with the Fukuoka district. Uh, uh, lastly, I uh, invite the uh, chief judge. Uh, uh, no, I'm not trying to get a job through this uh, process, please do not misunderstand. Uh, um, as I served as a chief judge and also um, it had so happened that I know the area very well. It was, I think, a good timing as well uh, as to uh, when this is taking place. I was able to uh, have a good dialogue uh, with uh, such wonderful people on the panel. 
and we were able to discuss a variety of uh, or diverse uh, projects. I, I really gained a good experience. I'd like to thank um, the co-sponsor, Shinkenchi Kusha Company Limited. Uh, they had to invite me from New York, all the way from New York. As uh, Matsushima-san said, uh, self-supporting uh, uh, or independence uh, would uh, be um, reflecting the feelings on the part of the people they really want to change things in society and uh, what uh, the architecture can do uh, uh, well, um, well is some something the idea that uh, was conveyed uh, in a discussion although um, there are some lack of feasibility yet uh, if uh, we continue in an exercise like this there will be are uh, reflected in the architecture we will be building in the future. And this time around, uh, um, because of uh, the pandemic, this was um, a bit di di different, uh, difficult for uh, the applicants and also for the judges. But uh, we, I really um, spend uh, a very precious time um, today, as I uh, was able to bring back uh, hope, I like to thank uh, those concerned for this opportunity uh, given to me today. Thank you. Now, uh, for the um, participants and also uh, people uh, who won the, the, the prizes, please turn your camera on, but microphone should be muted. Please turn on your camera, everybody. Please turn on the camera. Um, Mr. Yao Yun from China, are you with us? Um, Mr. Yao Yun Ho. Uh, are you still connected? Please enter the Zoom. Mr. Yao Yun Yu. Yao Yun Ho san. Mr. Yao Yun Ho. Hello. Oh, you call me? Uh, you must have passed. Put the camera on. OK. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Is that calling, calling me? Yes, yes. I don't know. You won this. Second prize, right? You know that, right? Okay. Uh, with this, we'd like to uh, close uh, the uh, second and final screening for Fukuoka International Architectural Design Competition. The result of uh, this competition will be announced through the April issue of Shinken Chikusha. Um, and uh, also we have um, a screening, streaming service for the process of the competition. And uh, we end all the program. Thank you very much for your participation.